I've had this plan for many years, but now I can't remember. I wanted to assassinate December. Welcome to Nerds Gone Rogue. This is another Game of the Year show with some friends. And this is basically a reunion. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Platinum Achievements reunion. My, yeah. name, is My name is Matthew Keel at Infinite underscore Rewind on every social media platform uh, conceivable on this earth and in this known universe. Alongside me, Chris Har and Imran the Lord Haji. How are you guys? Very good. It is great to hear your voice and great to talk to you, Matt. Oh, man. It's been and a long time. I recorded on video so I can see your beautiful face. <laughs> That's true. Chris is as well, even though he's, he's, he's much sexier than both of us, Imran. We just have to That's give him true. that. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, stroke that, stroke that beard. <laughs> Lady killer you. How are you, sir? I'm I'm okay. Um, what's that reference about the December thing? Is that oh like... I do song lyrics at the beginning of the show, and that's Teenage Fan Club December. <laughs> oh. the... You can see mine. Okay. Chris's face go blank. Like what is yep, it? you guys are like what? <laughs> 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 Where? Are, what are we? Where are we? What's going on? Uh, so, um, it's been a while since Chris has been on Nerds Gone Rogue, but it's been even longer since Chris or I have talked with Imran. Yeah, so, how's Imran, it? how you been, buddy? I've back been from good. The dead. Yeah, I'm back from Risen. You from disappeared? The you had a kid? Like, yeah. what's That's happening over there? What, and Your then, penis got uh, longer? I mean, Lester wins the world. <laughs> like Lester wins the premiership, and Imran's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what happened. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so, where have I been? Uh, I was quite ill. Um, a little bit about that was I was actually blacking out and not knowing where I was. Um, and so it was kind of kind of a big deal. Um, couldn't drive. That's not really kind of nice. a big deal. That's a major fucking deal. Imran. <laughs> yeah, so I was kind of I was blacking out, a brain sort of issue, and mm -hmm. type thing. Um, it was okay. Got cured after a while. Um, cool. Some of my friends found me on the street. I was on the way to like a coffee, and um, I was meant to meet them at a cafe, and then they were trying to trace my steps because I didn't turn up, and then they found me like sort of on the street and stuff. So oh, went shit. to the hospital, found out that's what happened, and I'd been losing time quite regularly, but I had no ideas, mostly when I was at home. So you kind of think I was probably watching a film and I just didn't catch the whole movie. And I was like, or maybe I just nodded off, but actually I was actually having, um, losing time. Um, so that happened. So I was in and out of hospital, took a break from mostly internet and things like that. And then um, I was I was meant to come back a lot, lot sooner, but then things happened at home. Um, my wife actually lost her job. Um, okay. She, so actually wait, great news, my wife got pregnant. And she got pregnant, and her boss fired her. So because she got happened. pregnant, yeah, because she got pregnant. So what? Um, in in the yeah, so oh, a lot, a lot of it's been crazy. So a lot can't, happened. Can't, can't, Fuck that can't, guy. can't you sue or something? Yeah, so that's happened as well. We've won the lawsuit as well, which is great nice. news. Uh, he hasn't paid out yet, so it takes about a year, right? It takes ages. How much? To, like, How much? Um, one billion dollars. Ah, <laughs> so all together, no, like, well, yeah, but it's one it billion. Like you were doing something completely different there. No, no, no. I know because this is one million. This is like one billion. <laughs> one billion. I mean, no. all right, that still looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, about twelve k one, but it hasn't been paid yet. So we're waiting for that. I was hoping to get paid before Christmas, but it's like going to drag that out, and then it's not happening. Um, but yeah, yeah, so it, well, it, it's, I'm not saying it won't happen because I just don't know the laws over there. But I know, like <laughs> here, it tends to get dragged out, and then most of it gets lost to legal fees. So. Yeah, no. So that, that's all being so legal fees are being paid and stuff. So what we're going to get is that amount. So oh, okay. Uh, he right, just cool. has to pay now. So he's got like a deadline. I don't know when that is, but Mariam's sorting that out. He um, but in that moment, I got offered a job in. So obviously, one wage from the house is gone. 
I uh, was mm -hmm. going to struggle financially. And then in that moment, I got offered a job in London, which is about 100 miles from Leicester, about a two-hour trip uh, in the car. I um, got a job in London, and I just took it because it kind of like made up the deficit. Okay. Um, so, so in that moment, so they put me up in a hotel five nights a week, paid for food. So I was like, yeah, I might as well just do this. I um, also had a baby on the way. I was like, I need to save some money for the baby. Mm -hmm. and decided to take the job. So for a year, I've been in London. Um, my projects now moved back to Leicester. But I don't know if you guys know, um, it's a, there's a, in America, they use Nest a lot, Nest Amistats. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so in, in I know UK, very little about it. That's about yeah, so in the UK, I know enough to Hive. understand what you're talking about. That's it. In the, in the UK, they've got Hive, which is probably in America as well. I'm not sure. But Hive is like the big thing in the UK where it controls your lights, your plugs. Mm -hmm. your oh, oh well. like Philips Hue? Yeah, a bit like Philips Hue, but British Gas oh, version. Because okay. I work for British Gas. Um, I think there enough lights. No, don't. I'm lucky my computer's not on loud because it would have. <laughs> I love that. It would have uh, done something. But yeah, so I'll be working on a project there, um, helping. Just Chris, turn the lights out. It just got sexy in here. <laughs> yeah, it did get really cool. <laughs> now, so it just helped uh, design and uh, develop that product. And now the project's actually moved back to Leicester. So I'm back in Leicester now. I've been in Leicester for about a month, which has allowed me to get things in order, get things normal, and join you on the podcast. But that's basically pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, the biggest thing was I had a son, healthy mm -hmm. baby boy, who's now seven months old. Uh, he's keeping up, all, taking all my time, which means I don't get to play many games. That's, that's what hoping, I just want him to grow up so I can, I've got so many things I want to do. With him, <laughs> he's just too small. I'm like, I want to play games with you. I've got all these things to do. I know when I, when, when I grew up, my parents didn't want to do anything, any kid stuff. Like, they used to buy me things, but they didn't think it was that They're important. Like, yeah, I don't want, no, that's but yours. But now, like, like, now everything I buy is like, I want it as well. So I'm just mm -hmm. can't wait till he's grown up. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken up magic, like magic tricks. I'm trying to like. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've got like a whole range of like, so I've just been like splurging on loads of magic tricks. Lord, and stuff. I might show you one on, on camera, actually. I'll show okay. you one on camera. All right. So we can do one later on, maybe to close the show or something. Oh, perfect. It. I like a good showstopper. Visual uh, trick. Chris, Alexa has disobeyed you and not turned your <laughs> lights back <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, so now all I see is the light of your phone, it looks like. <laughs> all right. Oh, he's back. Okay, good. <laughs> Sometimes uh, she needs a good slapping. I mean, you know, Alexa does what Alexa do. Uh, so, so what's new with you, sir? How have you been? I've been... Fair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um I mean, yeah, I got I got promoted as head technical. Oh, congratulations! Oh, that's good. That's good. No, no, it's not. No, it's well, not. That, not now, now you just have a heavier crown. Well, now, now he has to do work. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Because uh, now my phone does not does not stop. It just it just it never ends. It, it, it phone call after phone call, phone call. I don't have internet. I don't. I can't open Facebook. I can't open Instagram. Can I cannot work. You're not supposed to open all that. It's like, oh my god, I don't. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you'll go you'll, like, you'll go to their. You'll go to their space. You'll turn off their stuff for ten seconds. Turn it back on. See done. <laughs> And most most of it is like that. I yeah. swear to God, most of like it. Every is. every so often, you get that person who fucks their shit up, specially. <laughs> like, yep, you. Just, yeah, and, and they'd be like, a special oh. brand of person that you did this, and, and they'd be like, oh no, it wasn't me. It's like it's like bitch. It was from your email, and and why did you install something say, says? Hacking your devices version 2.02, .02, and she installed it on her computer. I thought it was a life I, hack, not a computer hack. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, I don't. It's <laughs> like it's like she. It's like a, 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 a million dollar company got fucking hacked because of this bitch. It's like it's, it's, the hacker even was trolling you. It's, it's she even wrote, wrote wrote I'm hacking you, and he you it stole it. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like, like he probably just did I'm hacking you unless you install this file, and then she's like <laughs> not hacking me. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, 
It's like this is even it's it's like worse. It's like if you got scammed by a fucking what is it, the king of uh uh the prince of Nigeria. Prince of my Nigeria, it would yeah. be more less embarrassing than this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be less blatant because at least they're lying to you. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. yeah, that's my life. It's like <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy you both are here. I really am. Uh, this is actually a rarity now because I work overnights uh, and we record the main show Monday nights before I go to work, so I don't get an open beer very wow. often on That's the show so anymore. So we say that song every episode. I, I am drinking a, a, a video game themed beer. Take a look at this pipe oh, dream, nice. and it's uh, all like cool. Mario and shit. <laughs> are you still into your craft beers then? Oh hell yes! Okay, oh hell, yeah. thank you for that. That and that and that and vinyl will be buried buried with me. Oh, what you got there, Chris? I can't see it. Oh, that's just a coffee mug, or oh, Darth Vader. Better picture of himself on it. Yeah, great, perfect. <sighs> okay, so we are going to talk about 2018 in terms of games. Prior to hitting the record button, both y'all said you haven't played much. That's okay. I'm just glad to be talking to both of you. <laughs> um, so. Now, you both kind of gave recaps. You got promoted. Uh, Imran has, has had a son and is at, is back in Leicester for the job. Uh, all, of that, all, of, all, all of that is happy. But other other than that, 2018 been good, bad? Uh, yeah, 2018 has been really good. Uh, really, really good? Fun. Lots of things happening. I, I mean, think, you know what? I mean, you have the son. Of course it's good. I mean, I it's that. good for me. This is You guys are <laughs> this is great. I'll be honest, I was really like, I really wanted to reach out to you guys, but I felt really like, I don't know, I felt like it took too long. You I know when, talked to you, you know on, when, on Messenger a couple I know, of times. I, like, I, I, like, I, I was like, I'm going to message you. I know, I was going to message you. On your son and nothing. And I was going to message you. And then you know when it gets too long, you're like, oh, it's nice to be awkward. I was like, I mean, oh, no, I know. I know. I know. I usually, I, I usually had girls do that after they quit returning <laughs> calls, not Imran. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was like, "Oh man, I really, really," because I cared about you guys so. Well, I care about you guys so much, and we I had such a laugh before. So I was like, yeah, "Oh." Man. Says, I mean, it, look, it, it life happens. No one understands that. Well, I, I don't. Chris tends to not understand life happens, and don't try and give me this shit that you do, Chris, because you don't. <laughs> um, I love you though, uh, but. I was you know, <laughs> but, but you know, I'm just I'm just glad I'm just glad you're you're I'm glad I mean I'm glad you're healthy, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. I'm I'm very yeah. happy about your son and That's cool. and you know it, it sucks that that shit happened to, to Miriam, but I'm glad yeah. that things are I'm glad that things are turning cool. around. I'm glad you think heading in a good direction. Chris, I'm glad you got promoted. I'm glad things are moving the right way for you too. No because I mean, even though, no. we're, even though Platinum Achievements doesn't really happen, I'm just glad you guys are still it's moving dead. forward. You guys killed it. I mean, okay, we're not doing that. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure I owe you guys some bet, I think. As, I, I, I'm pretty sad. I, I, still, I still need the $20 from Brian. <laughs> There's something going on. I can't remember what it was. Not I'm, not, it. I'm, I'm never going to drop that. that you shouldn't. You shouldn't. I'm just saying. Yeah, he'll that's never drop it. He'll never pay you it. So you just can't back up from a bet. Like, How not. much of a cheap bastard can you get? You can't afford to. I mean, we're not going to. I'm not. Uh, look, Spags isn't here to defend himself. I'm not going to start doing that. But, like, I also know. Any any person in the world who owns uh, and plays PlayStation or Xbox, <laughs> you can afford at least $20. Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, yeah, again not really going to argue with you, but at the same time, that, that's on him, not on me. <laughs> um, so mo changing tempo, how do you think uh, 2018 has been for games and what games seem to keep your attention the most that you could play, of course? Overwatch. Overwatch, <laughs> Overwatch great. 2015 is awesome. <laughs> I'm not upset. What? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Nemra. Oh, uh, yeah. So I feel I got slightly put off by the whole Fortnite, PUBG, that whole sort of like thing. Kind of like okay. I, I felt too far away from gaming at that point. So I didn't know where just to delve in or what to do. So there are a few games obviously I have played. Um, but that sort of the online sort of the way that's blown up in the industry really kind of is a bit weird. It kind of put me off a little. Mm hmm. 
So that's that's in terms of twenty eight in gaming, that was a big thing, right? Fortnite and these uh, those battle royale type of games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, there's been some stellar games that we've played and we'll discuss them. But generally, I think I I know it's great for the industry and it brings so much revenue in and it brings a lot of spotlight onto the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, negative things as well, like some kids are spending like hundreds of thousands of dollars on just random virtual currency and stuff. But yeah. at the same time, um, being a game I used to play almost every day, it kind of put me off a bit. I was like, oh, especially when I was quite um, away from a lot of other people, because obviously Fortnite is online and you're doing a lot of things. Where I, was, I took my PlayStation to a hotel and used to play mostly single player games and stuff, whereas mm -hmm. Fortnite, PUBG, and that's uh, kind of pushed me a little bit away from games. It's a bit, a bit weird, to be honest. Well, I, I mean, like with the battle royale thing, I, I think is a real it's a it's a really cool new way for multiplayer yeah. to yes, definitely. I can appreciate what it's about, but um, personally, uh, I couldn't really get into yeah, it. I mean, like, maybe not speaking to you guys, maybe might be able to do a bit more. I yeah, like I mean, I I got into Fortnite for a brief period. I I randomized into a a team game, and that was the only game I ever actually won. <laughs> Um, and I'm and I'm not afraid to admit that the the three dudes that were on my team carried me. And that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I although I did end up with four kills, believe it or not. Uh, so take that as you will. But like, yeah, first shooters in general, like I can play them. Uh, I do. I do like them, but I don't like. I don't like multiplayer. That's just. I just don't do that anymore. Um, yeah. I was. I mean, like Chris with overwatch like i didn't play it at all in 2018 but that was one of my big regrets the following year like uh when i when i played overwatch for the first time i was like you know what i should have played this last year i when it was like out of sight guys and, and i had people around me playing it i that would have been all that would have been some cool shenanigans to get into remember this guy <laughs> what you remember this guy Zidane. Uh, is that Zidane? Yeah. There it is. Hi, Zidane. <laughs> you look so annoyed. <laughs> he's annoyed. I don't know why he's here. I'm trying to make him go he's, away. But... He's, like, he's like, I heard daddy talking to somebody. <laughs> I want to talk to somebody. He needs to go away. <laughs> I'm going to put my tail in his face. <laughs> and on the, and in front of the camera. <laughs> trying to make him go, but he's not. Zidane Sorry. do what Zidane do. <laughs> um, so... Uh, and anything anything disappoint you guys this year gaming wise so yeah the whole fortnite thing is like it's like we get it it's it became a meme it's like it's 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 did you guys see youtube rewind do you guys watch the YouTube Rewind 2018 they do like uh, oh, I've not seen that yet and I've watched it every year but this one I haven't watched I I haven't watched it no do you guys know what YouTube Rewind is? Yeah, they get all the YouTubers around the world, like the main ones, that make a little video which kind of recaps the year. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's when you yeah. one was out. Yeah, they did one, and it was so heavily focused on Fortnite. I'm like, oh. it's not even funny anymore. It's like, well, we, we get it. 10-year-old uh, kids dancing Fortnite dances and uh, grandmas doing the Fortnite dances and the music. We get it. Let BTS the meme do die. Sound. Let it's the crazy. meme die. <laughs> well, it. I mean, it's one of it's it's it, it's like Minecraft was for a time, except there's way more ways for people to engage with it than there was Minecraft. It's like I played the game, but I feel like I, I'm just I need to play this co consistently so I can have fun <laughs> yeah. because it's it's how they do it. How the fuck can they build a fucking British Khalifa in in one minute? You see, like it's like it's like Wait, I oh, see. Did, 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 what was that? <laughs> okay, yeah, I heard. I I'm dumb in America. Yeah, I thought you said, I thought you said Wiz Khalifa. Khalifa. I'm like, what's happening right now? <laughs> oh, you know the tower in Dubai. Yeah, the, like one of the tallest towers in the world. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I yeah I I don't. Is that the ones in? Oh, that's the that's what it is in Dubai. That's those two towers. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, I didn't know what they were named. I knew where they were, but that's it. Um, but yeah, no, it's like, are, are you playing on PC or on power. console? On console. So I'm not sure there's, because of the whole crossover thing, it's like, am I playing with PC gamers? Because I feel like, because I feel like some sometimes I uh, bump into people, I'm like, he's in front of me, but he can't hit me. It's like, I jump around next to him, he can't hit me. I'm like, this is obviously someone on the on the phone. 
so I can kill them really easily. Yeah. But other times, like they have a, a fucking eagle eye scope, they can uh, kill you from ten thousand kilometers. It's like okay, this is a guy from <laughs> PC. Yeah, I feel like that guy's. Pro I mean, well, there, also, isn't there a cheating thing in Fortnite too? Is, or has that been stamped out? Uh, I don't know. I think you can. There's a way you can put the settings where you don't have crossover plays. But mm -hmm. the problem is because my friend he's on Xbox and I'm on on PlayStation, which is great. You can play Xbox PlayStation together. But yeah. this is also forces me so PC players play with us. Mm -hmm. And and on PC, I think there's a button where you can, uh, with one click, you can just circle around and just build the whole tower in, in two seconds. Right. It's, it's insane. It's in, uh, the key bindings. They key bind. Oh yeah, they the key, key bindings on PC basically break that stuff. Yeah, I'm like, it's like it's so ridiculous how fast they can build shit. I was like, oh, this is not fun. But actually, when you win, it's fun. But when you oh lose, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you have all really the OP good... shit's fun when you're winning. <laughs> yeah, I understand. But it's like when you find a fun game, it's really fun. But when you like. Playing against these guys who put in millions of hours, and it's like, oh, yeah. this is it's ridiculous. So it's like, how can you do half of the things you do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's crazy. I give up on Fortnite. I've been playing Overwatch <laughs> because I keep playing Overwatch because when I get home, I'm so tired and I'm like, I have like an hour to play max, and I can mm. squeeze in two games and I just can go to sleep. Yeah. But if I'm gonna play something else like Red Dead, I know I need more time than one hour. Yeah. You know, I need uh, because the game is so slow. Maybe maybe I can do a half a mission because mm -hmm. they have to go the whole cinematography thing, yeah, the whole yeah, movie. Yeah, thing. Yeah, there's no real fast travel in it. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. So for all the modern conveniences of gaming, that's the one that sort of gets rid of all of it, but in a weird way. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, I mean, I had some disappointments this year as well, like Far Cry 5. Oh, uh, yeah. the, the moment to moment in Far Cry 5, like the just the combat and the, the chaos that happens, really fun. The story, fucking bummer. Um, <laughs> and then, like, in the lead up to, and I'm not going to, like, pile on to the Fallout 76, you know, hate oh, yeah. just, just because I didn't play it. But like in the lead up to that, like I was, I'm like, you know, it's a Fallout game. Fallout's one of my favorite franchises. Um, but like towards the towards about probably two weeks out from its release, I'm just like, you know what? I'm backing out of this because I don't because a like I don't know how much of what people are saying is correct and how much is not. And also, I know time is going to be a factor, and with a game as huge as, as red dead and having to catch up for game of the year. Like I just knew, I know that if something's going to go on the wayside, I have to make a choice. And, and that was, and, and I made that choice. Um, maybe I'll come back to it when Bethesda is added to it. Cause I know they're going to, it's basically like no man's sky when it released, like they're going to, yeah. they're going to add to that. They're mm -hmm. going to, they're going to flush that out with content. Uh, it's just a it's just a waiting game. It's um, like why you why release it then? I, I there 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 is that, but also I'm was one of the, I was in the severe minority of people that were happy with No Man's Sky when it was released. Yeah, that game <laughs> was what I wanted it to be. I, I can honestly tell you, if No Man's Sky was released today, as the state it is right now, I'll, I'll be I've been really happy. But mm -hmm. it's like I lo I lose interest. I lose. Yeah. I, I just lost interest. I'm. I'm never ever going back to that game. I mean, I, I played it. I platinumed it. I've gone back a couple of times since, and you, I haven't done as much as I've wanted to, just because other games. Yeah. But like, yeah, I exactly. like that it's there. I mean, No Man's yeah. Sky is a good, good um, sort of example because I think that game needed to be released for those things to happen. Mm -hmm. Like I think a lot of it's about feedback and how the community reacts, and they do take those things on board, especially if it were No Man's Sky. I forgot the creator's name. I was watching an interview oh, with him. He really was, yeah. He was really talking about how he really does listen to the community and stuff, and his vision for it was basically how it is now. And 
uh, it's really hard to get back into because I left it for so long. But the things they've added to that game are insane. Like, mm -hmm. it's like exactly how it should have been. Like Chris said, it should have been released like that. But I think it had to be released in its way for them to understand that that's what they were aiming. Yeah, for. Other, I mean, I feel like if they if they if they kept that in the in development for any longer, it probably would have just ended up in development hell. Yeah, that's right. Everyone was waiting a long time for that game, so they had to do so. something. I mean, I almost kind of feel like it might have been a shit or get off the pot situation. Yeah. Um, but I feel like, you know, I think Bethesda will make Fallout 76 a worthwhile thing. I just think the community has to be patient with them. I think everyone um, wants the numbered Fallouts anyway. I mean, like New Vegas. Was it Fallout New Vegas people were okay with but didn't find it amazing? But well, it's Fallout 3, Fallout 4. Well, they the Fallout the people think New Vegas is one of the best in the series. Yes, I, I really enjoy I think New people, Vegas. People that probably came like with Fallout 3, getting New Vegas is... I mean, because it was even buggier than 3 was. Yeah, yeah it was. Because so, yeah. Fallout 3 was when I got into the franchise, and that was probably one of my favorite games ever, Fallout mm -hmm. 3. Um, when New Vegas came out, I just I didn't see so much difference. I was like, oh, they're just kind of reskinning everything and redoing everything, which yeah. is a bit similar to Fallout 76, I guess. Well, yeah, I, I, Fallout seventy six. I mean, it's 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 also like when you tell someone a Fallout game is being released, if they've played any Fallout, they have an idea as to what exactly. it should be. Yeah. And Fallout seventy six just isn't that. Mm. Um, uh, for what for better or for worse. Um, now this might be it. This might be a fun one for y'all to answer. Uh, are there True. any games that you regret missing? <laughs> are we gonna do? Are we gonna do like a top ten list or not? No, you just oh. no. We're just oh, talking okay. here. We're just talking okay. here. Okay, I regret missing loads of games which are on my list, but I <laughs> <laughs> don't really want to say what those games are because you'd be like, you haven't played that, you haven't played that. But oh no, no, no! Yeah, what, a, what have you missed? A, we can talk. I mean, the top game I need to play is Spider Man. That's my okay top game. I need. To, I really need to play that game and find. I will. I will say this as someone who played in Platinum Spider Man. You need to play it. It's worth. Yeah, it's worth your so time. Every, everyone I've spoken to said they can't believe because I'm a huge comic book fan. And mm -hmm. everyone just said you need to play that game, but I haven't got around to it. Just um, Red Dead Redemption, obviously. Most of the games, sort of this part of the year, the latter part of the year. First half of the year, I managed to cram a few games in, but this latter part of the year, just uh, since September onwards, I've not really played much at all. So, so Spider Man and Red Dead are my two that I need to get on top. Okay. Of. Chris, um, uh, what games I regret not playing? Um, you know what? As um, as I got older and wiser <laughs> in the years, I used to buy every what single game. What are you, 26 game. now? I'm 26. Yes. Um, yes, I feel so old, to be honest. Uh, 39, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's like, um, I used to want to buy every single game. You know, every single game I used to buy. Now it's like... Yeah. When I buy a game, I know I have time for it and I'm going to play it. So I don't regret uh, buying something because uh, uh, I know I'm not going to play. So it, like, like for example, the new Tomb Raider game, Shadow of whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm interested. I'm, I want to play that game, but I didn't buy it because I know I'm not going to play it. I'm not, okay. I won't have time to play it. So it's like I have no regrets. Okay. Uh, every game, yeah. I mean, that's how I've been looking at things. Because I know if I don't buy Spider-Man when it came out, even though I wanted to play it, I know that I can play it at some point and it'll be a lot cheaper as well when I mm -hmm. do do go to buy it. The same with Tomb Raider. That was another one. I paid the first two. I'll um, tell you right now, wait on Spider-Man because there's, there's going to be a sweet Game of the Year edition next year. I can almost... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Game. So that's what's going to happen. With all these games, you don't, you don't really regret it because you know that the payoff is that you're going to get it for a lot cheaper than it was at release. So there's going to yeah, be some deal or something. And you know the game that you really, really want to play at first day, you buy it regardless. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Red Dead, I know I wanted to play that game first, first day, no matter what. I don't care what was the reason. Or even, even somebody died, I still want. To, I, I would have taken my uh, PS4 with me and played it. You know. Okay. Uh, uh, so yeah. Be funny. Chris pulls out a PS4 at a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> And, Never like played, and then people are like, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you keep talking. What are you playing? That looks awesome. <laughs> like, it really, it, it, that, look at that. Oh, man, did that horse just kick that dude in the face? Or, 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 you, or, 
No, what you're not supposed to shoot him that. Oh, oh, that was an accident. Oh, the controllers are that bad. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Or imagine you play, you play the Call of Duty game where you press F. <laughs> How many times are you going to stay there and pet your horse? You shut up. Petting the horse is awesome. <laughs> Um, you know, I did this, I did this a couple of days ago with, uh, Todd and, um, oh, who else was there? Uh, Jose Jimenez and I had regrets, but I can't think of any right now. Um, talking to them, talking to them, that was a regret. Pardon me. <laughs> what was that? You just Chat said that to my face. It's fine. Chatting with them was that your regret? Talking? No, no, no. I don't. No, 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 Chris. I, I, those individuals are amazing. I'm happy they are willing to chat with me, just like I'm happy y'all are willing to chat with me. All right. I regret nothing in terms of talking to people because I realize there are better things to do with your time than speak to this stupid face. Um, one thing I've definitely have noticed, and I probably do regret this, not being so on top of gaming news, I've not really managed to unearth any sort of hidden gems and things, because I've noticed that the media does focus on these AAA titles, so that's yeah. what I've kind of like been pushed upon myself. I've not really played any independent games, and I think that's a big regret for me. I don't know if anything's come out, actually, or is there anything you guys can recommend, because there well, was a time we used to play every single like indie game out then, obviously, when... PS4 there, came out, they changed the game with that. There have been um, some good ones the past couple years. I mean, um, I think that's probably my biggest regret that I've not been on the scene, so I don't know what games are there to look out for. Like, I go on the PS Store and there's like hundreds of games listed. I'm like, I don't know what's going on or where to begin. I mean, from this year specifically, like, I know you, 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 you PC game as well, right, Imran? PC, Xbox, Switch. Okay. Um, oh, Into the Breach yeah. is, is an indie that I will fully fully get behind uh it's a mech game but it's also a strategy game it's uh, each it's it's like a mini chess board almost um oh, cool. but it's not nearly as deep as chess but it's yeah. very very engaging celeste is one of the best platformers i've ever played wait um, wait sorry into the breach was that the one with the it's like a soccer soccer chess game or no no into the breach is uh mechs which one was the soccer thing it's like it's soccer and it's like chess. Pyre? Checkers. Yeah, Spire. Okay. That's from last year. That's Super Giant Games. I do re I do recommend them. They're the ones who did Bastion. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, Pyre was one of my favorite games of last year. Um, and then like, yeah, I think man, I'm, like, I'm like totally blanking. <laughs> <laughs> that tells me a lot about the year. I feel like I haven't missed much. Then, I like, well, yeah, it, but well, see, it, but, see, it's 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 really funny, and I'll and I'll just go into I'll go into the next topic, which is like the biggest surprise of the year, um, and the biggest surprise actually ties back in for all three of us in one of the early episodes of Platinum Achievements, okay, where we, where we talked about virtual reality. Yes. Now. That same year, or either that year or the year after, I went to upstate New York okay. and I was able to try PSVR for the first time. And I played E Valkyrie, and yep. you know, and I've always remembered that talk we all had. Yeah, I remember and, exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And like it was just like how you know Brian was talking about how it was like stepping into another world. And I also remembered some things like how I'm always talking about really, you know, video games aren't as immersive as, as people want them to be. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think E Valkyrie at the time was immersive, but I just, I recognized the mechanics of what I was doing because I was, I was, you know, in my ship chasing another ship, trying to kill it because it's a video game and it pulled off. Like it pulled up, went, to, went back to the right and I followed it with my head and kept and basically use the controller to get it back here. And and it was that point where I was like, oh, that's what this is. And I don't think that's really something you can explain to anyone really until they actually until you actually say like this is what it is. Like it's that it's that one level deeper. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like much, but it's actually like, oh wait a minute, I just did that. <laughs> um but the biggest, one of the bigger surprises for me is the fact that uh, a Tetris game in utilizes virtual reality as well as it does. Yeah. And like there were games that made me want VR, like Res Infinite, Thumper, yeah. uh, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. 
without Th- a thumper, the one with the where you cut like boxes and with the music. No, that's thing. Beat Saber. That's Beat, Beat Saber. Sa- oh, it's so cool. That I want to. Uh, yeah. That looks yeah, that, so that, cool. I'm, I'm so glad that's coming to PSVR. But like, <laughs> yeah, it looks so good. I can't wait for that. Um, but when I when I played when I actually when I when I picked up a, a PSVR on Black Friday. Yeah. And uh, I. I had played Tetris Effect a lot already, and then I, I basically sat down, put the goggles on, and went into that. I it was just like it, it was just it was just a whole load of peace <laughs> just washed all over me. It was one of the most zen things that I've ever done, and it, and it's not it's not like E Valkyrie where you're trying to follow follow someone around through space. Yeah. It's just like you've got the board and you've got this environment, and you can look around. And see that the environment is built out all around you, and it's really transported in a in a cool way. And all the music is is about being together, and it's so optimistic. And ah, oh, if you had told me thirty years ago that one of the best games of this year would be Tetris, I'd be like, man, Tetris came out already. <laughs> I couldn't have told you thirty years ago. I wasn't born. Well, I right because I'm I'm talking to children. Um, Actually, Imran, you're in your 30s, right? Please be. How old are you? I forgot. Oh, he takes off his headphones and and leaves. He doesn't want to. Sorry, I've got really bad. I've got really bad cough. My apologies. I'm 31 years old. You're what? 31. Oh, okay, good. Thank God for that. Um, (laughs) But uh, but yeah, like it's like it's. Are you Catholic? Catholic is has to Am I, I was baptized Catholic. I don't really practice anymore. The only, your, thing I, the only thing I really have is the guilt. Like that's all. Then I have. Three, three fingers. You cannot do like <laughs> like this. No, I know. That's what I did. No, you did this. Hey, you know what? Here's one finger. You have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another. Oh, two. Two. <laughs> um, so look, uh, Matt, is weed legal in your state? It is decriminalized. It is not legal. Uh, I'm always I'm just gonna I'm, get a glass of water. Uh, my throat's a bit dry. It's okay, like no I'm very interested to try, or I can't try here in Lebanon. But when I was in Amsterdam, mm-hmm. um, uh, I smoked weed. Really like, like, like. I was like, it's a whole new kind of weed. Uh-huh. And and it's like I didn't know there were different kind of weeds. Like this weed can make you sleepy. The weed does make you excited. This weed makes it, it, you well, there are different strains because yeah. It's it's like I was so surprised. I thought all of them were like they make you feel numb, you know. Mm-hmm. But no, it's like actually and the effect and it actually does give effect. So yeah. I'm wondering there's a point to this. I'm wondering if you ever want to try like a really strong weed and play PSVR, how would that, how trippy would that be? Well, in, when I was a teenager, I did all sorts of uh, controlled substances, we'll call them. Um, And some of them I miss, (laughs) most of them I do not. They Uh, were talking about drugs. Yes, weed is weed is one of those things that I miss. Unfortunately, due to my career in healthcare, I am unable to partake. But uh, when it's legal in your state, you can. Even even when it's legal, I can't because if I get drug tested and they, it, I have to. I'm more beholden to my job than the law at that point. What the um, f- that doesn't yeah, even make I, sense I, if it's legal. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's a discussion I really can't speak to, but I know that if 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 my if the hospital I work at says uh, drug test drugs are bad, I'll I'll listen to them because they pay me. They pay my yeah. rent. They they make it so I can get records. They make it so I can play games. <clears throat> I still have a PS Vita for God's sake. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but bad, <laughs> but I will say this: uh, PSV like Tetris Effect specifically. Um, It'd be a good time, <laughs> but you would, but like, honestly, if you're going to do drugs and play test effect, just go into theater mode. Don't try and actually play the game because it'll, you'll, it'll just ruin the entire ex- experience. Mm. Um, but having said that, uh, the most surprising thing, just about VR, because I tried this the other day, uh, a game that came out this year called Astrobot. Okay. Um, 
This game, Astrobot. Astrobot. This game is the Super Mario sixty four for VR. Oh, uh, the, one, the little robots. Yeah, I don't say that because it's it's a three D platformer that you move around in because you really don't have the freedom of movement that you had in Super Mario sixty four, but it uses VR. Uh, the best way that I've experienced in my right. short time playing. Uh, better than Evacory, better than Tetris Effect. Um, while Thumper is really cool in VR, it, that gets a bit abrasive after a while. Um, I haven't played Beat Saber yet, but I will. Is it out on PS4? Beat Saber? Yeah. <clears throat> I believe so. If it's not, it's coming out soon. Yeah, I know that they've right. announced they've announced a VR bundle with that and Borderlands VR. So maybe it's not out because Borderlands. Oh yeah, that VR got announced, soon. not it? Borderlands Two VR. That's gonna be. Yeah. Um, how, how much does a PS VR cost now? In, in, in it's, US? I know in US it's like three something, but I got it for two fifty on Black Friday. It's so expensive, man. Yeah, it was. It, well, that was a hundred dollars off, and I was like, you know what? I'm. I'm Is it two fifty with the two dildo sticks? Yes, okay. I got. I got the goggles, the camera, the processor, the dildos, super hot, and Creed. Oh, that's a good deal. It was, I, yeah, it was not a bad deal at all. That's why. I mean, for a hundred dollars off of what it normally sells for, that's why. That's why I went for it. Um, because I have the two dildo sticks and I have the camera. I just need the VR thing. Is oh yeah, so you you can get that. You can get that. There's a you can get that. Actually, I think maybe one ninety nine. Really, I'm asking because because uh, uh, my uh, brother is going to. Sorry, my cousin is going to America, so mm -hmm. he could get me one. So that's yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I I I I don't think that'll be near as extortionate as getting the entire bundle, but Astrobot is. Astrobot, the the little character, is probably the most adorable thing to grace video games since uh, Sackboy from Little Planet, Little Big Planet. Wow, um, the big stick. Yeah, oh, no, Sackboy is really adorable. But like, honestly, like there the, the the whole opening of this right. game, it's like a Pixar. It's like a Pixar movie. So, okay, I'm gonna play as soon as we get off this. Like, like, it, nice. I mean, it, honestly, like there's a lot that reminded me of Wall-E, but like not in a depressing sense. Wow. But it also uses it uses VR the way Hitchcock used 3D. Like there's this, there's this alien that well actually the the opening is like a ship coming towards you and it gets like way too close to the point where you're like whoa whoops <laughs> <laughs> but you like move your head back and then like looking go, going into the first level you, like I found myself like standing up trying to look around like he didn't want to walk because I knew I was tethered to the machine and I was. Oh, so it. it's like Mario 3D. It's like Mario Odyssey thing, or yeah, like it, it's. I mean, and like there are there are there's pla it's a 3D platformer, and there are there are parts where the the character is like way above you and you can stand up and just sort of get a better sense of how to move him wow. around. Like it, I mean, it's 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 fucking brilliant, and okay. like I could not I could not have imagined a better way to use vr um and there was a moment like in the first level where i see like the, you, there's the plat there's like the area you're supposed to play in and then like it's clouds all around i'm like i wonder if i could look over and i look over and i just see clouds below and i look i try and lean in and then my face <laughs> hits the sofa that i'm sitting on just because i was, <laughs> I was like oh wait a minute i'm still in the real world <laughs> yes. but yeah like the vr was a was a big surprise as well because yeah. How much yeah. space do you need? Not a lot. You not need... much at all. I've got a really small sort of living room, and it's uh, it's not like the Vive me. where it sets up shit around your room. Yeah, yeah. It's like I think you need between five and seven feet. Total. Yeah, you don't need a lot of space at all. Seven feet. Well, I think that's just what it says on the thing because, like, um, we started feet. painting the room where I pay where I play games in, and I have a chair that's sitting probably no more than four feet away from the screen. Oh, just two meters. Two yeah. meters is fine. And and VR was fine there. Like, it, yeah, about yeah. a couple of meters. Yeah, that's completely fine. Yeah. The, the I mean, th unbelievable thing about VR is when you take off the headset, you're like, where was I? Like, it's so, so weird. Like going from one dimension almost to another it's really strange you know i've only had i've only had the real transformative stuff in tetris effect <laughs> like <laughs> honestly i say this and i and i and i and when i write my game of the year piece uh i just know that when i wherever i end up, i still haven't made i still haven't like ranked my list yet 
but uh, once whatever I wherever I put Tetris Effect in that because it's going to be in my top ten. Um, it's the best acid trip I've had since I actually did acid, and that was twenty some odd. That was years a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I was in my teenagers. In my teenagers. I'm definitely going to be Astrobots after this podcast. Uh, you should. Yeah, Astrobot really is one of the, is is like that is an essential. Tetris yeah. Effect you should play. You don't have to play it in VR. No, but it's cool. Um, but Astrobot is Astrobot really is necessary. <laughs> Like, it sounds really good. I'm curious how Hellblade is going to hold up on VR. Yeah, Cause when, that would be weird. Because cool. when I played that game of Hellblade, and everybody recommended me to play with a headset, and I was actually waiting to get a really good headset. And so I got, I couldn't wait. I got my friend's headset. He has a really good one. <laughs> and and trust me, you should, It's it's criminal. It's criminal to play that game without a proper headset. Uh, I don't really have to agree. Yeah, that the way those whispers are so creepy. And like, are you talking about just headphones, or are you talking about VR? No, no, no. Hell, so Hellblade. Yeah. The, so Hell uses Blade. like bi- what's it called? Um, it's like a binary sound. What's it called? I thought it's called surround sound? sound. No, it uses oh. some sort of sound effect. So it's like the woman's whispering into your ears. It's really strange that game. Like the experience you get just from sound is crazy. Okay. It's like have you have you ever have you ever like um what's it called? Uh, tried one of those audios where you close your eyes and you focus really hard. You can he, you can even you can, every, like everything sounds like it's positioned like at different yeah, places yeah. around. Yeah, 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 it's called binaural sound. That's what it is. Binaural okay. sound. You can feel the scratches on back of your head. You can feel the scratch sometimes. It's okay. really strange. All so right. this so the the premises this girl's got like she's kind of got schizophrenia. No, I, I, I played I played Hellblade, but I just played it, you know, with my TV because it was one. You of cannot play. You gotta put your headphones on. I know. Really I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't do that. I, I actually. I, truth <laughs> be told, I didn't finish the game because I wanted to actually get. I wanted to actually wait till I could sit down and just play it because it was one of those. It was one of those games that I was catching up for. <laughs> game. But you have a gold, so it should be fine. Oh yeah, no, I. Yeah, yeah, with the with the gold headset, it's perfect. That's why I played it with, and it was mm-hmm. really strange. Um, now I talked a lot about what I thought was surprising this year. What do you? What were? What surprised you guys? Anything? Surprising, I think. Uh, you know what? You know how much I give shit about uh, motion game, motion control games. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. And I well, actually Chris did... Hard giving motion control game shit. <laughs> Is that a thing? Um, I mean, I, I remember I, Skyward Sword being one of your favorite games of all time. Oh my god! Uh, I, I, so I, th- I remember you saying that Red Steel was the absolute perfection <laughs> of motion. Oh Steel. my god! And I, I really thought you were the you were one of the people that just were like, man, the Wii really did motion controls well. It did uh, really bad. So. Um, <laughs> Mario Tennis. I have gotten older and wiser because, like, a year ago, that would have just made you angry. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Yeah, it would have seen steam coming out of his ears. But... So I really enjoyed Mario Tennis this year. I was actually okay. yeah, surprised. yeah. It's really fun. Yeah, it's really. It's like um, because I have a really. Uh, it's like um, my room is not very small, but but we have because I have two beds. Mm-hmm. And so it makes my uh, room really small. I have two beds because uh, I don't want to say. Because I mean, you I sleep in one, your dick sleeps in the other. We got it. Exactly. One that uh, one is a sex bed, the other one is a sleeping bed. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't want to. It's like I don't like to sleep in a bed you where you I have sex. Your own stuff. No. I mean, all right. <laughs> you do you, boo. <laughs> uh, so because i don't have a lot of space so it's very uh me and my friend when you play we like uh, really cramped next to each other and when we swing our, uh, our uh, joy, joy control <laughs> joy guns. me and my friend when we swing our joy guns, this is all a euphemism <laughs> When we swing around our joy cons, we bump to each <laughs> just, just, yeah, just keep going. 
I swear to God, I did. Mean sure, it. no, please. I, I did mean it for it to Look, come out like that. Mean? We're all accepting. It's fine. <laughs> um, and we start like what you, want, where, what, what you want to do with your Joy Cons and your HD Rumble. You just, you just be happy. That's what I want. Yeah. So we hit each uh, each other on purpose, or that's right, of course. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, Smack him upside the head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's really fun in that way. It's not like we were actually playing the game. We we're actually hitting each other and trying. <laughs> cold, each new definition of cold cocking. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I played. That's Mario how you play tennis. Mario Tennis. Yeah. With well, your I dick out. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so you were surprised. You were surprised, you were surprised that motion controls are actually okay. Yeah, they were actually okay. I was surprised. Okay. So, yeah. but you were also just mentioning, like with Beat Saber, have you tried that at all or no? No, I actually want to try it. Okay, uh, all, right. all right. I'm so excited to try that. I was like, I'm actually thinking to buy PSVR VR mm -hmm. to play that game. Okay, I just want to make sure I, I had that straight. Um, Imran. Um, surprises. Not so much a surprise, because I can't... Maybe surprise. I was really surprised at how well A Way Out worked the game. Um, I was away from... Wow, home. that's a rare thing. Most people yeah. didn't like the game. Yeah, I was, I was I'm happy to hear some positivity yeah. about it, to be honest. I was actually away from... Didn't like the game, seriously? Yeah, I, a lot of people... No, I really, really, really thought it was. Game. I really, really enjoyed that game. It's yeah, oh, that's it's cool. That, that's fine. I didn't I really play it, so it as well. Yeah. I didn't play it, so. um, and it was really interesting being able to. Uh, so, because I was away from home, I was in London. So my little cousin used to play with me a lot, and I was able to obviously give him a game pass and play with him. And I was really impressed by how that worked and how there was really no restrictions in the game. Like he actually had a copy of the game that he could play. That he mm -hmm. didn't have to pay for, and it was really, really cool. Um, and the way that game worked and the mechanics it used, the co-op stuff, I've never seen. I've seen other co-op games, but this really, really focused on co-op, especially at a time where split-screen co-op and things like that are not really uh, quite prominent in the gaming industry. I was really happy to see a game like that. And I think they're doing a really good job. So I am surprised, like Chris, that people didn't like that game because I thought it was pretty Yeah, I a lot of people love that now, game. And, and, I could, and I, I'm totally open to being wrong on this one. It's just, for some reason, I remember that being way, I, I, way, way less way underwhelming we'll call it that's just and you know i've i've also been up since i've been up for 16 hours and uh i did work overnight so not a lot of cylinders firing up here just so if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'll accept that i mean I, you get to appreciate the mechanics and what they try to do with the game which they wanted to do co-op and they wanted people to come together and play a game. So they looked at all aspects. So split screen, they looked at people who are not together, online, people who don't have the game. So they looked at a lot of things. I was quite impressed with EA for that sort of approach. Yeah. Okay. Good. And I actually liked the story. It's like the yeah. end was really Prison good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, like should, should we spoil it or not spoil it? Or It's game of the year. Spoil it. Yeah. So So the whole game is like, you're you're with, you're with your friend, you know. Me and my friend were playing uh, like we played the whole game straight. We didn't stop. We actually finished it in one night, mm -hmm. and the whole time we were like, "Okay, we're in this together. We're a team. We're helping each other. We're uh, escaping escaping from prison. I'm I'm helping his wife. He's helping me. You know, um, if I'm getting a beat down, he runs and tries to save me, but then." It turns out that your friend is an undercover cop, whatever. It's uh, he was just using me to get to the to a boss. It's like, oh, this is fucked up. Okay, <laughs> and I'm looking at my friend, and he's looking at me. He's like, are we gonna have to kill each other right now? Yep. It's like that's that's what happens. Like, oh no, I don't, I don't actually don't want to kill you, but so but you he, and your friend are sitting there, dicks out, going, are we gonna have to kill each other? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. <laughs> anyway. So uh, why we were stroking each other dicks and uh, killing each other, um, I, was, I was like, we actually become, <laughs> we actually become like invested. Yeah, I actually, actually, I actually wanted to, uh, to win, you know? I, I wanted to survive. I don't want my, I, I got really connected with my character. 
and he got con and he got really really uh, connected oh, of course. to this guy. No, none of us wanted to die, so we were. Yeah, when it's you versus it's, when it's you or the other guy, you want to put that motherfucker in the ground. Yeah, but, but it's not. But it's not like. But it's not like uh, me and my friend were like, no, I like your character better, and he's like, no, I like your character better. So let's decide. Uh, you kill me, you know. That mm -hmm. wasn't like that. So we were actually trying to survive, and it was I lost, I lost, and I don't, I don't like that. But uh, but there are there are two endings. You actually can kill one or the other. It's not like a preset thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So th that was that was that's one of the most surprised thing that happened. Yeah, I was really impressed with that game. Yeah. Um, especially because it wasn't a full priced game, was it? It was like kind of like the lower like thirty dollars something like that. Yeah, I thought it was like a, I thought it was thirty nine US maybe. No, no, I think it was thirty dollars, and and, and there were so many different game mechanics. There were car, driving, car chases, shooting, stealth, uh, yeah, mini games you can play. Um, yeah, loads of stuff. There were like puzzles. Uh, you can play basketball. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there, there were a lot of uh, fun mechanics in it. So for for thirty dollars game, even the vo even even the uh, voice acting was uh, really good. Yeah, it was Awesome. I just yeah. thought of another indie game for you, Imran. Uh, yes. Dead Cells. Dead Cells. All right, cool. Dead Cells is, is really good. Cool. And then, like, if you like, if you like uh, Metroidvanias, uh, yes. there were a bunch that came out uh, in August along with Dead Cells. There was Chasm, okay. uh, Death's Gambit. And You're going to have to message me this list. And then Guacamelee 2 came out this year. Oh, yeah, yes, so. I played them. That game is really good. That game, <laughs> that, yeah, that game Play the was, first one. Like I started, I started playing it. It's it's really it's fuck. <laughs> it's like it's just fuck. That game is good. <laughs> it's it's Guacamole one, but uh, it's, it's the cool. same. It's, yeah, I mean it's the same thing as Guacamole one. It really yeah, is. Yeah, Guacamole was a good game. And it, but it's like it's like a continuation. Of that. Okay, cool. But like it's it, it's really good. Like literally, the first thing you do is beat the final boss in Guacamole one. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so it's an actual oh, proper continuation. Of the yeah, game. that's a proper sequel. It's like oh, it's, nice. it's as sequel as you could get. Oh, nice. Um, I was kind of disappointed with the end boss, but whatever. The, the the whole the whole journey of collecting things was fun. Yeah, and I I mean like I I remember like Guac what I remember of Guacamelee one because uh, I didn't I haven't played the Super Turbo Championship <laughs> Edition. I just played vanilla guacamole one. I platinum that, but like it was more about how much fun it was to do everything. Um, and like, like there the were, crazy chicken challenge. Oh my oh, yeah. god! Like even 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 that bullshit was like cool. <laughs> like, it was just like this is ridiculous, but hey, I'm still having fun. Um, so uh, now to our final topic and the reason we're all here. Now, Chris mentioned a top 10. Do you want to do a top 10, Chris? I have a list. Imran, <laughs> are you able to do a top 10? I can't do a top I can probably, I probably can, but... No, okay, can, well, you, okay, so here's try. what we're going to do. We're going to do Chris's top 10, and, and we're going to Imran provide a top 10. <laughs> so, so we'll do that. So, uh, oh, okay. um, so, Chris, number 10, sir. Number ten, uh, Mario Tennis. Okay, all right. Already, talk, already talked about that. We already talked about it, so we don't need to go any further. Imran, yeah. pick a game. <laughs> <any> game. <laughs> I, I can't, I'm thinking about ten. I can't do ten, but probably one of the. Um, I don't know if it came up. If you are absolutely just out of ideas, I'll throw something in for you. I, I'm not. I'm trying to think. I don't know if Nino Kuni two came out this year. It did. It did. It yeah, did. so I can pop that. That was decent. I can put okay. that in there. I don't know Good what gym. order. So I know my top sort of three, and the rest are like a random order. That's so fine. I'm doing I mean, it just really, really all it is is I like your favorite you know, one, and the rest of these belong yeah. in the comments. You know, you two is nice because I, I really enjoyed the first one and the second one. I mean, frankly, I'm just happy to be talking to you, motherfuckers. <laughs> so. I don't care. I don't care how rules be damned. Uh, uh, Chris, okay. number nine, please. Far Cry Five. Really? It wasn't that much. Yeah, really. Okay, that's fine. I yeah. mean, I, I like now. Did you like the story? No. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Fine. I'm all right then. Because like the moment to moment shit's great in Far Cry Five. It really is. 
but like I was I it was I'm, and like and I'm probably stuck in the camp that like really wanted that to be what they pitched it as and then about 15 minutes into it you find out it's just not exactly it, i was i was hoping for the really cover uh, com, cover how is it the the white whatever thing that uh, I, I can't i cannot pronounce the game the name the, the word cult? yeah you know the whole like i was hoping for like a just a really gritty thing about cults yeah, yeah, me too, me too. Or, or like, just a, or just a nice exploration into that world. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be nuanced or balanced because it's fucking Far yeah. Cry. Like, I but, wanted some really <laughs> racist shit, you know. Well, I didn't. I mean, I don't. I don't. I didn't want. I mean, we got enough racist shit with Wolfenstein too, and it was great to kill fucking Nazis, am I right? Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> kill fucking. Uh, KKK uh, members or kill fucking other racist people and but like I didn't think I didn't mean just because this is I just because this was a, a cult I didn't really think it was going to be racially charged or anything but I think once you get into like because we've had a lot of we've had a lot of it's, it's not just killing them it's like how it's like they explain their side of point of view that's they, what I wanted and yeah. we did not get that at all yeah like their philosophy of thinking, why they do it, and why they actually believe in it, and yeah. why uh, the way of their life. And, and I actually wanted moments of moments where you were like, hmm, maybe they are right. And you'd be or like, or you uh, wanted like some evocation of sympathy, just something you can cling to. Like, yeah, just yeah, ex exactly. Drama, exactly. Right? Just yeah, this exactly. mild modicum of drama we didn't get. Yeah, that. like the Spanish drama. Yeah, well, I I do think like the opening to that game is really really good. Like up until you see Joseph Seed go, no one come, no one's coming to save you. I'm like mother, I'm kind of in. And then literally ten minutes later, it's like, it's like nope, this is just dumb. But chaos is fun. It's like <laughs> I mentioned Far Cry Five because uh, it's like I, it's like I barely have I barely have a top ten list. Because you know, I would have mentioned Battle Chasers on Nintendo Switch, but yeah, I missed that game too. That came out last year on PC. It came out this year on Nintendo Switch, so I mm -hmm. can't really count it. Yeah, I mean, like, I yeah, yeah, like that's the one thing keeping Hollow Knight off my top ten. Yeah. Because I want, I, I want to also. Oh, Imran, Hollow Knight. That's really good. Write that down. All right, cool. I'm writing it down. <laughs> so, Far Cry uh, Five. I've actually got sealed special edition with the. Father's the father. I don't know what he is like. The, yeah, the, the, guy, the guy sitting on his thing, on his uh, chair, like looking cool. I've got it sealed. I've not opened the box and the things there, but I need to play that game. But I never, never ever got around to it, especially with the baby and stuff. I never yeah, don't play that in front of your kid. That's <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. <laughs> no. But I need to. I need. To, I still need to play, even though. Do you, do you have a switch at all, or no? Yeah, I've got a switch. Yeah. If if you want to if you want a game to play in front of your kid, I'll tell you right now. Uh, it's this right okay it's on switch now you should play it it's okay, really cool. good i would play katamari damasi really good um okay nice. so imran let's 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 pick a number nine for you uh no actually having said i didn't play in india it's probably one i did play only for a brief time but it was so so enjoyable i think you heard of two point hospital or something like that. oh no i want that's one of the i want to play that game but i don't have yeah, a pc i don't even remember theme hospital the game from like, yeah I've, well ago. matt phillips in our chat talked about it a lot but when yeah, i saw like when i saw giant bob do a quick look at that i'm like this is fucking great <laughs> yeah it's really really enjoyable I, I think it's a great long new game history yeah it's a, it's a, such I a mean, good game lightheadedness am i right <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's a really good game that was. I really enjoyed that, and I wish I'd get to. So I want it to be like uh, on a mobile platform, but I don't think it is. That would be cool, but I, I like, I don't, I can't play. I can't play games on my phone. I use. I. I, don't I mean, have, like, I, I can play like, uh, like Theme Hospital on my iPad and stuff. I'd love to do that. I don't know. Yeah, Should I don't have an iPad anymore. My iPad me, died. They should let me do that. But yeah, that was, that was a really good game. Was, and you should definitely give it a go because it's really, really enjoyable, and you got to use your brain a little bit. So it's nice. Yeah. So this and it looks really good as well. Like the good call. Yeah. Thank you for bringing. God, two point hospital looks so good. That is what and it's it, called, right? Two point, yeah, two yeah, point. two point hospital, and it's like the right kind of funny. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, like hey, we're funny because we're in a video game. It's just like no, this is actually just yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, some of the things uh, they come up with. Yeah. Okay, Chris, number eight, sir. Nino Kuni two. Okay, okay. that was a good game. Nino yeah. Kuni twice. 
twice all around. Good game. Yeah, it's it's an overall overall good game. It's not. I don't know. It's like I think people liked the protagonist. I don't, I don't think, want to say they liked it more than the boy from the first one, but like the, yeah. people had a lot, a lot of good things to say about this protagonist. Yeah, yeah I, I, I the game really, really like. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I like the aesthetic. Okay. I I like the whole idea of building your own kingdom, mm. but it just it just felt some. It just felt off in a way. It just like it didn't have that. That you like Studio Ghibli magic in it mm -hmm. for some reason, I don't know. It's like it's like it just felt something was missing. The gameplay was fun, the the story was okay, but I don't know. Maybe the I think they some of the characters weren't really that interesting. Some of the characters weren't that, that interesting. I actually liked your right hand guy. I, I forgot his name. Whatever it was, the long haired dude, and. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I actually like like only two characters. You just want to call him not old drippy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. It's like, um, it felt, uh, and in a way, also the whole you how to progress your magic thing, how to upgrade yourself. It felt kind of tedious, overly tedious. You don't have to really do them, but. No, you have to upgrade your magic. But it felt kind of tedious, where it was like, um, I don't know. Uh, it felt sometimes a bit more busy work, and I just wanted to progress the game even faster. So, <clears throat> I don't know. It just It felt kind of off. I can't really explain it why. Okay. All right. I can't, I can't really explain it why. That's fine. I mean, I, I and, and like, and I didn't. I, I, I've watched a lot of that game. I didn't. I didn't play it, but I will say that like, there's something to the. You could tell it's not Ghibli this time around. Um, yeah, I, I know what you mean. You can tell there's something and, else. And also, now did is there is there a is there a through line between the first and second one? Because that's the one thing I've not really seen parsed. No, out. you don't have to actually play the first game. Because... Oh yeah, okay. So the, it's just like it's just the second game. It's just yeah. it's just another game called Nino Kuni. Exactly. Okay. Yes. All right. Um. So Imran, of course, there's some references and Easter eggs from the first right, game, yeah. but it's not gonna I, be like dun dun dun. The boy was the evil guy. The boy was the rat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Killed his that's mother. He just became a dick. No. <laughs> um, so, right. Imran, uh, okay. I believe this is eight for you. <laughs> right, so, so this is already getting difficult for me. Okay. That's um, fine. Uh, the, did the second Unravel game come out this year? Unravel it 2. did. It yeah, did. So and that good. game's fucking good, too. <laughs> game, yeah. I like that. Unravel 1 was good. Unravel 2 was even better with yeah. that. No, like my partner and I play, un we, played unra we played a lot of Unravel 2. Yeah, yeah, it's good. She's, she's good. like, this is great. <laughs> Such a good game. I like that they obviously added an extra character in there too, so you can play. Uh, it's really good. The, it looks beautiful as well. The way the obviously the thread works and everything is really interesting. You got to use your brain a little bit. Some of the puzzles. It was some are of the difficult. best like co-op co puzzle yeah. solving since Portal. Yeah, yeah, and they're difficult yeah. puzzles sometimes as well. So it's yeah. pretty good. I like this. That was a good game. I give that a good shot. Between the yeah. two of us, like both of us had like a bunch of. Oh, I go. I know what we need to do. <laughs> yeah, and, that's exactly what happens. And, yeah. And then we and then we turn into like conspiracy theorists. Okay, put that there. This here, boom, we're over. Good. All right, move on. Ha ha, not getting us this time, chicken. Uh, Chris, I'm, I'm really thin on games. I'm thinking. thinking. That's all right. I got your back, Imran. <laughs> Number seven for you, sir. Number seven, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Oh yeah. One of my bigger regrets. That game looks so good. It's I think so I might. I think I might get it on Switch specifically to avoid looking at a trophy list. <laughs> like, if you're gonna play the game, just avoid online right now. You just you're not gonna have fun. It's like when you if you bought the game when the first released it, released you you will have fun. But now, right? No, because most of the you know the 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 casual uh, fighter game of you know the, the casual the gamers the who play fighting has been weaned out and beaten to death right yeah yeah exactly so if you're gonna play online you're gonna get you're gonna get oh stomped you're, and, and you're gonna get yeah you've seen me I think you and I played Street Fighter Five a couple of times and it was just like you're just like Matt just don't 
<laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> it was like playing, it was like the time I played Imran in FIFA. It's like in, <laughs> FIFA. He's like, but I just don't. <laughs> Except he was really nice about it. And he's like, look, man, I'm just gonna win. <laughs> it's fine. If you want to keep playing, we can do that. I remember Brian's commentary skills when we played. That was uh, but but the, the good thing about this, it's not it's not that difficult to pull off combos. It, no. it really isn't. It's not mm. it's not that like you can use the manual, the automatic combos. It's like it's it's, it's if if you do that, you're gonna get stumped. Right. Uh, but uh, the 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 other combos, it's not actually that hard to do. To be honest, it's not like insanely crazy like. Um, uh, like uh, what's the other game? Arxis games, um, like Injustice. I always okay. felt Injustice was so difficult for me, uh, or, or, or Street Fighter. It's it's a lot easier. So, so if you want to actually go into like a proper fighting game with easy to learn combos, I would recommend this game. I would. Okay, and it's very flashy. It's very flashy, I... and I love the animation. The animation is so. Now, cool. have you played other Arc System? works games like blaze blue or or uh, guilty gear i've played the uh, guilty uh, Blay, uh, guilty gear guilty gear is so insanely hard i can never get like, into it the, the reason i'm asking is because like i've heard that like even for an arc system works game like this is accessible yes like in a way that like but it's also like it has a, it has a low skill floor but it also provides a high skill ceiling which is something that a lot of fighting games like struggle with. Yes. Um, so, so yeah, uh, Imran, um, number, do you have a number seven? Yeah, I'm gonna move away from sort of console gaming because okay. being on the road a lot, moving a lot. So I'm gonna cheat a little because uh, Chris gave me the great idea. There's a Dragon Ball iOS game that came out, which was really fun. And Fuck, really this game is unavailable in my country. Is it, it looks amazing. I can show it to you now, actually. It's, it looks so good. I'm is it fun? Yeah, it's really good. And the graphics are wicked on your phone. It's like, it's proper good. Uh, and it's so much nostalgia as well. It just looks, the way they've, um, they're going to release a Dragon Ball Z game. I was like, all right, we'll see what happens. And when you play it, it's so immersive and so good. And the graphics are, are really really nice like the really crisp and really clean it's really good it's such a good game what's it called? what is it called it's called dragon ball legends and it's uh yeah it's on um most mobile devices it is they've actually spent a lot of a uh, lot of time on the game so it's really, really good. now what's the what's what's the what's the loop it's like a how should i put the game so this is a bit of how it looks that's how it looks there so it's uh, oh okay it's a fighting right. game um and you oh, it's a fighting fight. game okay. yeah it's a proper fighting game and it's pretty cool. So you obviously level up your character. You create your character first. It's similar to the other Dragon Ball Z game that was on PS4 previously. I don't know if the new ones are like that as well. You but see you this bullshit? Bullshit. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is it in any country? I don't know. See, I'm sure you could download an APK for us. Because maybe. Lebanon says, we don't like Dragon Ball Z. We are, on, we are only Digimon here. Uh, <laughs> even Digimon is not available. Um... So it's a little bit of um card card strategy. No, we don't do Dragon Ball Z. We only My Hero Academia up in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's a really enjoyable game, and I played it quite a bit on the to to and from work. So, okay. the, the yeah. problem with the APK is I tried to download the APK, and just they got really smart with it. They had they force you to connect with their online servers, oh, and it's right. like oh yeah, they know it's not you didn't download this from your account. Ah, so yeah. <laughs> If I give you my details, can you not? I don't know how it works. Bunch of no, no. Am I no. right, Bagel? Yeah. I'm no, right. it's not. It's not. It's not what. It's like it has to do. It's like uh, with the servers and stuff. Like. Right? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, whatever. That sucks. It's a good game though. Regardless, like enjoyed it. Nice. Chris? Yeah, it's, it feels like a really good pooping game. <laughs> exactly. It's one of them. Yeah. Great pooping good game. Pooping game. <laughs> Come on, don't, don't, n n nobody will like, I'm so embarrassed. Everybody oh, has no, a no, no, game. no, that's, like, that's, yeah, that's 100% honest. You know how, yeah. you know how, like, I don't take my Switch out in public because it spent so much time in the bathroom. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, even Reba's like, she's like, I don't want to touch that. I'm like, no, I, I, I like it. It's fine. She's like, mm -mm, you're in there all the time with it, playing Into the Breach on the pooper. No, we're not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
now I bring the Vita back in there. <laughs> I play Spelunky on the pooper now. Um, but uh, uh, you're number six, sir. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Okay. Does it count? Does it count? I'm not sure if it counts oh, or not. It, it, it counts. counts. That's the count. What am I? Saying? I mean, uh, why would I? Why would I argue about a game that come, came out this year? Yeah, like but it's, it's like it's like it's like a remaster kind of game, but no, it's not. Well, it's I, like... I, look, I I think it's I think there's enough <laughs> there's enough obvious about that game that it's a new game that yeah. is basically skinning an old thing, but yeah. it's not a remaster. That's you know. exactly. I mean, so, it, it would have to be like Pokemon Yellow or remaster. Uh, so um, the way I was played, I always played Pokemon in my life is. I always catch six Pokemons, and I'm always like six or ten Pokemons, and I'm only stuck with them the whole game. Okay. So, uh, Emran, are you here? I'm here, yes. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. okay. I'm so here. I always like catch ten Pokemons, and I'm just yeah. stick to them. I just... Don't catch anything else. I never cared to catch anything else. It's like me. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. But in this game, because the way if you want to uh, level up your Pokemon, you have to catch Pokemon. Because that's catching. yeah, it's 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 the best way to level up your Pokemon. And it and it's mm. so easy to catch Pokemon right now because it's like yeah, just press the button. Yeah, just press the button. I don't, I don't get annoyed. You know, yeah. I don't get annoyed. It's like. Okay, should I hit? Because in the old in the old size, like his health is yellow now. Yeah, but if I <laughs> if I hit him, if I hit him now, he might die. But if I don't, he might not get caught. Yeah. What the fuck should I do? You know, as like uh, you take your chance. It's like, oh fuck, he died. Okay, <laughs> I have to try again. And if it's if it's a very uh, uh, low percentage. Uh, um uh, encounter pokemon you get yeah. really frustrated yeah you do yeah but in this game it's like because you see the pokemon and you can, and, you know, it's like, well you, can you can avoid them it's like mount moon is not annoying anymore yeah. mount, mount moon like zubat 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 like fuck off already but in this game it's like it's not annoying. you can avoid all of the pokemon and when you <laughs> see some yeah, it's really fun. And if you see something like, okay, I want to catch that Pokemon, I can actually choose what I want to well catch. And it's not like yeah, exactly. I have to. It's not like it's not random. It's not. It is still randomized, but it's not like blind randomized uh, uh, encounters. It's not so, hot track. And it's really cool when you see a, a Pokemon that you want. Like they're really. I love how they got the sizing right and stuff like that. So you can imagine them. Like how they look like in the real world, almost. It's really interesting. Exactly. Exactly. So I love the new catching mechanics. I hope the new game has the same catching mechanics because it's actually, it's, I'm actually motivated to catch all every single Pokemon. To be honest, because <laughs> yeah, because it's it seems easy. like a reasonable proposition. <laughs> if you can, yeah, it's, it is really enjoyable, and obviously a lot of nostalgia from Pokemon Yellow, which is probably my favorite Pokemon game on the Game Boy. Um, it's really good. Um, I'm going to put that... It was in my list anyway, so we might as well just discuss it now. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed Pokemon. That's probably the latest game I purchased. Um, okay. I had it pre-ordered for ages, so it just turned up on the doorstep. I was like, I need to play this. Uh, it was really good, really fun game. Um, and I love that you can just get all the six startup... You know your main Pokemon, you get them straight away, so you don't have to like, stress about anything. So you get Pikachu, and then you can catch, get the others from... I think people give them to you in cities, like Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. That's all you want. You don't want to mess around those other things, so... It's really good, and and the way the the characters are, the models and stuff, and it's really nice seeing the Pokemon walk through the grass. It's really really, really nice game. They done a lot. Um, they thought about it quite a lot, I think. And then did anyone get this thing as well, the Pokeball Plus, wherever it is? I think my Pikachu's in there somewhere. I think he's in there. Let him out, you barbarian! Oh Don't look, Chris got his. <laughs> yeah, look, you both have balls. I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool thing as well because it obviously links with Pokemon Go, which I also play quite a bit. Okay. Um, so it, yeah, it helps now, you catch Pokemon and stuff as well. The, the cool thing about this is that um, I didn't know this, but if you connect to your Pokemon Go and if it's you just tough. like drive drive next to uh, what do you call the Pokemarts and you just get it, it spins, it spins the um, what do you call them and the Pokemon Go. 
that the gives Pokestop. you Pokeball. The Pokestop that yes, spins them right. automatically and just That's collect right. po Pokeballs while you're driving, which is great. So it's cool. You can put the Pokemon in the ball. So I got Pikachu in there. He's tired, I think. Oh wait, wait, that's Pikachu talking? Yeah, it's in the ball. So who have you got? I think you got Mew got, in there, right? Yeah, Mew. Yeah, I guess that. So. so Pikachu and Eevee have got the proper voices. So oh, wait, they them, all make different sounds. That's freak. yeah. Okay, so that, no, 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 no. Just Poke, just just Pikachu and Eevee and. Uh, that the that's it. Well, what was that yeah. then? Oh, they so you said you. they do have other sounds as well, different Pokemon, but not yeah, like so it made not its own sound. It didn't, it didn't have the voice, but it made it made its own. Yeah. What, so if, you, what, what if you had a Diglett or a Charizard? Yeah, it makes a slightly different noise, but not like a voice one like this. Okay, like those that. are the only two actual Pokemon names yeah. I know outside of Pikachu <laughs> and Mew. But it's really other cool. Than that, other than that, I know Smosh is so like my, my honest Pikachu, Pokemon. So my Pikachu from Pokemon. the game is in the ball. Mm -hmm. And what I do when I walk around him, when I take him to work, and stuff, he's he's getting experience points. So when I go back to the game and put him back in, he's uh, leveled up loads. So it's like a super Pokemon. So it's really cool. Um, so it's <laughs> like I've got Pikachu with me, like right now. It's a really strange feeling. Um, and obviously, when I Pokemon Go, I've I play that quite a bit. Um, okay. And obviously, like it spins the stops, it catches Pokemon for you, does all sorts of things. So it's really really cool. I love how they've integrated sort of the mobile aspect with the. Oh, because he needs to be quiet now. I'm like, a, you can't. I don't, to, I don't have to turn it off. <laughs> it's so, like okay. he, I think you have to push right. the two buttons. Yeah, he's, he's, done. He's, he's tight. He's done now. Okay, so we are at the halfway point in the top ten. I am going to open a second beer. No, what's this? This is a. This is from a local brewery called Tired Hands. It is a okay. strawberry, the strawberry double milkshake IPA. Nice. It's basically an IPA brew, brewed with uh, lactose sugar. It has okay. like a, it has like a really it has a milkshakey texture. It's really oh, awesome. nice. Um, but also, I want to take the time to ask you, what did you guys think of the Detective Pikachu trailer? <laughs> you know what? It's so you weird. know what? It's it's weird, but weird enough that I'm in, interested to watch it. First video game movie since Super Mario Bros. that I've wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like I'm like, I want to watch. I, I showed that to her, she's like, so I got what the fuck is this? I'm like, it's Pokemon. She's like, you hate Pokemon. I'm like, I know, but hello. Detective Pikachu's cute. <laughs> Sorry, this is my podcast. Yeah, just say hello if you're, you can Hi, wait. Maria. Is that is that Miriam? Hi. No, that's my sister, Regina. I think you've spoken to I, her in the past. I think I have too. It's been, yeah, you it's have been too long, time. Imran. Jesus, Hi. yeah, sorry, it's been over a year and a bit. Like, I do apologize. Hello, hello, Imran, sister. <laughs> he said, Chris said, you remember Chris, right. Yeah. yeah, the the Lebanese guy. The stranger. <laughs> Basically, she she saw one of the the episodes where she was sitting next to me, and Chris was just saying the most weirdest things about Kim Kardashian. Oh, yep, I remember. Yep, like, yep. Mm -hmm. he, he hates Kim Kardashian because they're both Armenian, and then he had some issues. So, if you still he, feel the same, Chris. Well, I feel I feel like his. I I Kim banish her from the Armenian community. I banish. <laughs> She's her. banished her from Arme the Armenian. Community. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um. All right, so so you guys you guys want to see Detective Pikachu? Yeah, yeah. it's like at first I was like Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu. Hmm, what the fuck, right? Yes, <laughs> what the fuck, right? But I'm like, I actually want to watch Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's, well, and then it's so like, weird. And then like when you see what, which, okay, so I only know the Pokemon's named as as Smosh did them. So, like, the guy that's doing all the sign language, I want to call him, hi, I'm a registered sex offender. Not Mime? What it, okay, is that who it is? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Mime. <laughs> yeah. But, like, just that entire scene where, <laughs> where they're talking, where they're interrogating him, I'm like, all right, this, I want to see this. And, and yeah, Reba was like, what the hell? Why do you want to see this? This looks like a mess. I go, it's kind of good mess, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like, you you know you know you know a movie is gonna be bad, but it's actually entertainingly bad. It's yeah, like, like this will be this will be like B movie bad. But yeah. like it looks, I won't walk away disappointed. I will walk away going, <laughs> that was great. It's just really strange seeing Pikachu talk. I just this is, my head just can't get around it. And it's also a deep voice as well. Like I don't it's know, strange you, for me to see him with fur. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's got fur. I understand that. Like, he's supposed to have fur, right? Like, yeah, because yeah. like I was, I was too old for Pokemon when it came out. Right. Yeah, and, yeah. So I only see him as cartoon characters. So like, seeing everybody rendered out the way they did, like, I feel like they're doing good renders. 
But at the same time, it's still disorienting to the point where I'm like, oh. So is, based, is it based on the game, Detective Pikachu? Because that's the game, right, on TDS. Maybe. This, yeah, there's a no. Detective Pikachu. I've not never played it. Played. No, never, I don't. Never. I don't. I. I, th I. think there was a Detective Pikachu game. I don't remember anything about it. I think it came out quite recently, to be honest. All I remember is uh, Danielle oh, Riendo of Waypoint going, "I want to. I want a Detective Pikachu movie with like Danny DeVito as the voice. That'd be great." Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks. It looks it still really kind of would be great, but like this looks good too. Yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. Pikachu with a little hat on. He's cute. Yeah. Of him. Gonna watch it regardless. Uh, when, when is it out? Actually, I don't never know. I think July next year. Oh, okay. So uh, okay, so we've had that. We've had our little aside. I've o I've opened my second beer, Chris. Now that you're back, what's your number five, sir? Tortilla two. Tortilla two. Uh, never heard of it. Never heard of that. I know tortilla. Guacamole two. <laughs> Oh, oh, all right. Well, you mean Which, tostada too? Yeah, I get it. All right, guacamole. <laughs> yeah, guacamole too is a freaking good platformer. It's it's, it's it's really good. It's really good, and it's so it's so frustrating uh, the challenges. But if you have a friend, it gets a lot of easier because you know mm -hmm. you you can use your friend as a checkpoint. Yep. <laughs> Of no, course. I got I I I I have it's one of the it's one of the few games like Reba's sat down and played with me for a, a, a time and we we're, we both have a blast playing it. Like I will eventually platinum it. I don't know if she'll go that far, but like yeah, she she she's actually all right at it too. So so yeah, no Guacamole cool. Two is a good time. Write that down, Imran. Yeah, I mean Guacamole One is really good. I love the colors and like, it's really vibrant. I'm assuming the second game's the same it's the same but more so it really okay. is nice. like honestly it's it, it's it, it seems pejorative to say but like guacamole 2 is more of guacamole 1 but not oh, if it's saying brook why change yeah exactly 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 um so imran yes you got a number five sir Can right, you improvise I, the number five i don't know where i am now um, i'll need some help you gotta tell me some games that because okay I can't think. um what type of games do you like to play? Oh, what, one moment. Hello. Yes, hello. Hi. Sorry. I love the cat in the room. Um, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> the cat's coming back. No, so what games do I like to play? I'm just kind of all around gamer, to be honest. Play pretty much everything. I just don't play racing games that much. That's okay, that's fine. Probably, uh, probably I, recommend, game I, I mean, I, there's if there's one... <laughs> 6.6. I'm not going to tell Imran to play that. What, what's 6.6? That's his penis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. 6.6 .6 millimeters. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Oh, Metric oh, system, oh. son. Um, no. Uh, here, Here's a good one that's actually a racing game that okay. you might be okay with. It's called right. Onrush. Onrush, okay. Came out, early, came out really early in the year. It just came out on PS Plus. It's available on PS okay. Plus for December. Um, it's, oh, it's so probably so. Is it on PS Plus now? It's on PS Plus now. Do we get the same as America? I don't know. I believe you do. Yes, I'll download it. I've got PS. If you don't, if you're if you're able to, check it out. It's it's I worth your time. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's. I mean, did you like F Zero? Yeah, F Zero was cool. Ever is this is this a really good analog to that? I don't think it's as fast, mm -hmm. but some of them like if it, 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 it's once you get once you get going in it. It's a well, really good race. I mean, with with my sort of current situation, I'm not being able to play that much. I really like games with a good story that I can put down and then carry on the story at a later stage. Okay. So those games are really, really, I'm really, really into. So stuff like that. Okay. Um, well, I'm and there's, gonna, a, there's I'm, a plethora of games from past years, but twenty. I'm gonna. I, though, I there. I have a good one with a story. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna actually have two good ones. Um, okay. Then I'm going to save if you don't have a four. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, uh, you can help me. Yeah, that's fine. So, so Chris, you're number four, sir. Number four, uh, A Way Out. Okay. We talked uh, a lot about that. Yeah, so nothing to add there. Nothing to add. It was, it was, just, it was better it than was what really everybody good, said, yeah. or it was just as good as everybody said. Like, I think most of the people that I heard like talk about it is they just thought the story was derivative and and 
I don't, and, and not like as it could have gone deeper than it did. Yeah. I don't think that means it's a bad game. Uh, but I think I, the budget they had, the, the budget they had and, uh, you know, the, they couldn't make the game longer. So from from the, from the uh, tools they had, they actually, I think they made a really good game. Okay. Yeah. You know, but they, they were very limited resources. So, so what what they were able to uh, accomplish was I think was really good enough. Cool. So yeah, Imran, do you have a four. <laughs> do I have a four? Um, well, I'll just say I'll say this game is in my top three, but we'll say it now. Then we can tell no, 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 no. If you don't have a four, let me let me have this. All right, let go me have this. Okay, I got you. I got I got you, Imran. Right, cool. uh, you like a good you like a you like a good game with a story. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I've got actually three. Okay, three. Um, good. There's the Gardens Between, okay. which is kind of a puzzly walking simulator. Yeah. Um, it's available on PS4. I believe it's available on Switch too. Cool. I might be wrong there. Um, but it's it's a very it's a very beautiful, chill thing to look at, and it, it the music's really great. Um, and then it's also an indie game, so you should write that down. Yes. Uh, another uh, one cool. is uh, Donut County. Okay. Which which is one of the it's like we usually do in a on on Nerds Gone Rogue we usually do uh, two game of the year shows we do an award show where we do categories and then our top ten show. Um, Donut County is my fourth favorite soundtrack of the year. Wow. Okay. Cool. Um, it's it's <clears throat> goddamn good. Um, I think the best thing for me to do is just go past through your past podcast episodes, and I'm sure I'll pick up everything there. I, I mean, you'll find, you'll find stuff. I think I'll do that. I'll you'll find that. stuff, but like it also, you'll also find a lot of stuff you don't want to listen to, which is cool. <laughs> that's fine. That's um, fine. But like, no problem. That's really, it. Really, like I know um, when I actually write my piece, because my piece is actually going to have the most games I've ever talked about in one place. In okay, it. cool. And, oh, so that'd be really helpful. There's gonna be there's gonna be a list, um, but uh, Donut County is really good. It's about a uh, it's about a raccoon that's a bit of a rap scallion. Okay. Uh, there's good texting in the game, believe it or not, <laughs> uh, and there's quacking sounds, which is cool. Um, and it it it's awesome. Cool. And then the other one, I would actually do. You like platformers? Yeah, any, any games to be honest. Like, Here's a it, this is a this is a this is a dumb fun kind of story. Uh, Adventure Pals. Adventure uh, Pals. I think I saw that somewhere. But I'm not this sure. this is a game where you, it is your birthday. It is your <laughs> character's birthday, and he's given a pet giraffe because why the fuck not? Um, and the the giraffe goes into his backpack. Okay. And you can use the giraffe. Uh, as part of the jumping mechanic where if you hold the jump button, it sticks its tongue out and does a propeller so you can just glide. I'm sold. Um, <laughs> Sounds crazy enough to bring it to play. And, and uh, your uncle, Mr. B, has a fishbowl on his head and he's kidnapped your dad because Sounds he wants nice. to turn old people into hot dogs. Okay. Well, this is why, not a fever dream. This is in the game. Like this is all. Why, why kidnapping my dad helps him uh, turn people into hot dogs? You know, I, I can't do everything for you, Chris. You got to play the game. All right, this sounds really good. This Hold is on. Reba and I played through this co-op. It was her first platinum trophy. Okay, cool. So that's, that's you so know it, what you know what someone done. who's categorically not into video games to platinum a game. Cool. That is so, pretty. That is. I feel like that's praise enough. <laughs> yeah, that is, I can understand that. That's good. That means I love this. You can give me loads of games to play with Mario as well. So it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's like and, 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 like it's kind of like the platforming is kind of floaty, but it's it's the exploration is really fun. Um, there it has like a it has like a, a a Mario three kind of overworld, but instead of going along points on a map, you could just sort of free roam it. Cool. And there and there are animals roaming around there that you can just beat up for fun. Yeah. Uh, it's it's actually quite entertaining as a game. Wow. You know you know what would have been um, fun 
if what? Brian was with us and he actually like we did the weird plots with Brian. <laughs> That's a perfect game for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. Weird. Oh man, Spagnoli's voice talking about. Oh, it'd be great. That'd be yeah. Uh, that'd be awesome. And I'm he was kidnapped, up. so he can turn people into hot dogs. <laughs> 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 oh, I need that. I need that I, to happen. I, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get Spagnoli to do that. I'll yeah, get, read I'll the plot of Adventure Pass. this episode. <laughs> um, yeah, and then Corey's gonna be like, "What are you doing? Bringing all the platinum achievements, guys?" <laughs> 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 He'll be like, "Are you trying? To, you trying to take this over?" And I'm like, "No, Corey. This is just dumb fun that we that we just have." Um, <clears throat> I might dig that out. I want to listen to that. That was funny. Yeah. The proper, um, proper so plot. so chris i improvised a bunch of number fours for imran hopefully mm -hmm. that hopefully mm -hmm. that helps out somebody somewhere what's your number three sir number three is red dead redemption 2. okay all right i'll respect that but hold on look i have a lot of gripes with the game me too because me too. it's because it's not the game it's mm. uh I mean, it is a game, but okay. it's not like it's not like okay, we get it. The whole immersion thing that's like uh, we're gonna have to wear, <coughs> you know, we have to eat, feed the feed the horse, clean the horse. You have to eat, and you have to change clothes at different uh, when uh, seasons and whatever. All that is fine, but don't take out the fucking fast travel system. It's like a tap, 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 tap. The whole, I think 90% of the game I was tapping the horse. Tap, 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 tap. Was there a fast travel system in the original Red Dead? See that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, it's been a decade. I don't remember. But I wish there was because it's like, it's like, oh my God, this is so far away. Because even in that, even in that Red Dead, most people that played it, like they lost their steam once they got to Mexico. Yeah. I think that when I got to Mexico, I actually had more fun with the game. So you, like I put it down for a month at that point. And I'm like, you know what, I should finish <laughs> that. And then I just forced myself to do it. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute. This is one of the coolest things I've ever done. Yeah, the the train scene, I'd never forget the train scene. I mean, the scene. epilogue in it was great, mm. but uh, but yeah, yeah, like I think there's a I think there's a, there's a lot of cool things going on in Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, it is, but I feel like it's kind of, the mechanics are kind of outdated. Okay. It's like, he feels very clunky to move. Okay. And he feels um, uh, the, the shooting mechanics feels very clunky sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like I don't get it. It's uh, it's like I, a different clunky than most Rockstar than GTA. It's like a it's yeah. like a different clunky. Uh, but I'll also I think that was like an artistic choice, believe it or not. Yeah, maybe okay. because you know, the the guns are old or whatever. Right. It's it's, yeah. it's old timey West stuff. Yeah. But at the same time, it's still a. I mean, as the, as they said in that commercial for Sunset Overdrive, it's a fucking video game. <laughs> um, but like, I it was it's one of those things that like about four hours in, I'm like, all right, I get it, I get, I I, I, I see it. I don't want to beat myself over the head with this anymore. But but the story is really fun, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I mean, love. I love Marston. He's such a great character. I love all the other characters. You mean characters. Arthur? Uh, sorry, Arthur. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Marston in Red Dead 1 was a good time. Marston in this game is a fucking shitbag. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah. He's like the worst dad ever. And he's getting mad at you for like being a father to his kid. And you're like, well, he's a dad. <laughs> and you're not it. Because you're over there just being a whiny little bastard. <laughs> like, so uh so i i, I love the story I, I i love it i love uh, arthur's uh, acting but uh um, how far did you get are you have you finished it or no 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 i'm like in chapter chapter three or something yeah i i'm i'm, uh, I'm still in the beginning of chapter three and i'm just i'm out of it for that yeah game. it's like it's like oh i i just uh I'm, i i give up on the platinum i was trying to platinum it i give up on it because it's bullshit. The gold rush trophy is bullshit. To be honest, it's one hundred percent bullshit. <laughs> um, 
Because What's the gold serious? rush trophy? I don't even know. You have to do all the challenges and every mission in one go. It's like get ten headshot, uh, reach this in one oh, minute Jesus. and one one minute twenty seconds, and you have to do four stealth skills or you have to eighty percent accuracy. And the accuracy, I think it's bullshit because <laughs> you have to be accurate with those crappy controls. Ugh. Exactly, exactly. And here's the thing: you know what I do, and you know what I do is like I don't shoot at all, and I make sure that I'm gonna hit him. And if you miss only twice, oh sorry, only three times, and then you're not eighty percent accuracy. What? It doesn't make sense. I shot one hundred times. I. I hit the target 100 times. If I miss three times, it's not 80%. Don't they know how to do math? Uh, uh, also, also, there's some like you have to take 10 headshots. I swear to God, I'm aiming the head. They are dying in one shot. Why isn't it counting? Sometimes you get the slow motion uh, scenes where you see the bullet coming up from his head. And I did it 10 times, and it didn't register. I'm so fucking pissed, I gave up. And it's like, I'm just going to play the game. I'm just going to play it, finish it, delete it, and move on. And I don't want to play it. I, mean, I, I gave up on the whole... I was actually really excited it was uh, to platinum this game, but fuck it. I don't want it. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to. <laughs> too, too much online, too. Like a lot. I mean, so it's not just... It's not the online. It's, it's, it's like... It's, it's well, like, I don't know what the I don't know what Red Dead Online is because I haven't tried that. I will at some point. Yeah. I don't know when because I have to want yeah. to actually play that game again. But like, so uh, it's like it's like I, I, I'm trying to play the game and not and forget about the trophy. But at the same time, my fucking impulse com com. What do you say? <laughs> impulse uh, compulsion. Impulse control. Impulse control is like. I cannot look away. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's it's not making me have fun playing the fucking goddamn game. I wish it was on PC because I don't give a shit about Steam achievements. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I, I, I was so. I mean, we're in a post Game Awards 2018 world now, and I'm I'm not going to say what one in case people are still. People still want to go back and watch it, but I'm really glad that Red Dead Redemption did not. Okay. Um, the re the reason is is I remember when when GTA Five came out. And yeah. That, and that like won it, and I was like, but there, were, yeah. there were so many other there were better there were better games, and it, but like I'm really glad that in a world where it seems. Rockstar see, has has a has a weird kind of dominance over it. I'm glad that like this this wasn't handed over. You know, this wasn't just this didn't just walk <laughs> to glory. And I'm not gonna. And I don't think Red Dead is is bad. I do not think that it is. It is clunky, and it's obtuse and opaque. And all of this is a choice. But it is probably the most fully realized set of ambitions that I've ever seen in a video game before. I mean, it's a game that's definitely on my list, as it should be, but I just feel like it's such a big commitment. It like, really is. Like, yeah, like, I mean, like, I play, I mean, there were like, I, and, and I remember playing the original Red Dead and liking doing all of the side stuff. I like yeah. I like doing all the hunting when I had it. I like doing all of the mini games and whatnot. I 100% of that on Xbox. Yeah. But like this there's it's 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 even more realized than that. Like I I sat down and well, on the first cuz like on Sunday nights like I don't work but I have to maintain a sleep schedule. So I just yeah, stay up all night as if I was working and play video yeah. games. I spent like five hours playing poker. <laughs> and that was entertaining five hours. I thought I had a gambling problem there for a while um, until I won all my money back and left. Yeah. But like, 
the the it, the emergent stuff that happens, like yeah. how you can accidentally hit a wrong button, and then all of a sudden you've pissed somebody off to the point where they want to tell the cops, and then you just become just this wave of you become this one man wave of death after <laughs> at everybody coming at you. Uh, that's I mean that's a it's it's stupidly funny, but it's funny all the same. Yeah. And then there's the random stuff you find in the world, be it the strangers or the meme that everybody has seemed to experience where they're wandering, where they're just riding towards some objective. And then they see a man, they see a person struggling with a horse and that horse kicks them in the face and runs. And that yeah. person is now just dead. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm sorry, you take a horse kick to the face and survive. <laughs> but also like I found the aliens by accident in red dead no i didn't find actual aliens i just found that house that's like this weird cult thing and you come back when it says and you see the spaceship overhead and i'm like whoa that's new and then you find the cult that's like the the chilianos and you're, it's like definitely a reference to mount chiliad from, from yeah. gta 5 yeah. like all of that stuff is like a tapestry that is really really interesting and cool that I want to, I want to have an easier access or an easier access point to more. Yeah. But that access point requires, as you said, a time commitment yeah, that I'm just commitment. not ready for. Yeah. Um. So like, like Red Dead like was one of those games that I was super excited for, and like now having played 15, 20 hours on it. I'm in Act Three. I don't think it'll make my top ten. Yeah, but I, but that doesn't mean it. That doesn't mean that I think it's a bad game. That just means I don't think it's my ten favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes I, people conflate the two. But Red Dead is Red Dead is one of the it's like Astrobot. Like it's it's <coughs> it it should be tried because that is a it that is a yeah. It's a major step for video games on some level. Of course. Just not the fun one. I mean, the <laughs> level of graphics on that game was... Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. I don't even it's have insane. a pro and that thing looks beautiful. <laughs> so, And I know you have an HDR TV, right? 4K HDR. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Chris is throwing everything graphics-wise at it. Yeah, so <laughs> the, the, the QLED QF... Eight. Oh, I, nice. don't, I don't nice. know what that means. It's probably one of the best. QLED is probably the best screen that you can probably get. Them. No, I, it's the OLED one, but the OLED is like four thousand dollars. The QLED. Is yeah, like I mean, yeah, two, price of three thousand five hundred. Like, yeah. Ah, yeah. OLED is amazing. Have you OLED seen the extra half K, like, Chris? Really? No, I'm kidding. Um, OLED is unbelievable. Considering I don't even have a PC, but uh, anyway. So yes. that was your number three, Chris. Mm -hmm. We spent a lot of time on your number three, Imran. Yes, you have a, you have a top three. Yeah, I do have a top three. Um, okay, so what's your number three? Okay, so it was a toss up between two games. They're both, and I still have in include them both because they're both mobile games. I know Chris used to hate mobile games, but these two really stuck out to me, and I, I think they were both released this year. I'm he can't sure. hate mobile games anymore because he has a Switch. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's by default, right? Yep. Um, so there's one game I've heard of Monument Valley 2. That was, oh, fuck yeah. So the first one was great, but the second the one really... Was perfect. Yeah, it's, uh, the, so they released the second one, and it's more of the same, and it was, was really... This year? Yeah, I don't know if it was this year, but I remember playing it this year, and it came out. Okay, well, we'll out. go with that. We'll go with that. Yeah, and there's another game... Which don't be too I harsh read, on him, Chris. I read somewhere that this game was Hideo Kojima's best game of the year. Um... I don't know where I read that, but I read it somewhere. But it's a game on iOS called Framed, and it is a mystery thriller type of game um, delivered in comic book form, and it's really, really interesting. Uh, you kind of like slide the panels of the comic in order to find out what's happening, and it's really interesting, really immersive. Um, and it's kind of like each digital page brings up a new sort of um, idea or something that's happening in the game, and it's really, really interesting. But those two games kind of tie that three because they're both quite short. Uh, frame, that's the one, yeah. Really, really good game. Um, and yeah, I, I read somewhere, I don't know if this, you can't quote me on this, but Hideo Kojima said it's his favorite game of the year. So when he says it, it's a big deal, then we'll see. 
it means something. But it's a really good, really good game. And I think both of them did come out this year. I'm not too sure. I hope they did. You, you found it. Let me have a look. Was it I'm Monument? Lo- I'm, I'm looking. Hang on. Um, I'm checking. Monument Valley. Two. Nope. Monument Frame. Valley came out last year, and Framed came out Frame in 2014. Mer- oh, so it came Frame. out iOS. Oh, no, 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 no. No, May 17th, 2018. Yeah. So, so Framed. No, Frame, Frame came out on November 17th, 2000, uh, November 17th, 2017. <laughs> I see. I saw May 17th, 2018. I played them both this I'm year. I'm the show. And the 2018, it counts. <laughs> and also, I was going to no, say... No, no, it says released on 26 August 2015. <laughs> <clears throat> Release date, May 17th. Oh, it was Frame 2. That's what it is. Frame yeah, fr- fr- Frame 1, 25 yeah, August 2015. Frame 2, you want? Yeah, yeah Frame 2 is again. So or 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 framed collection May twenty eighth May seventeenth twenty eighteen. Either That's way, fun. there's a framed thing that came out in twenty eighteen. It counts. And, and I love Switch Imran. Well. You love Imran. Let's just give him this one. Kirk. It's on, it's on Switch as well. I think. Sixteen we August. Sixteen August two thousand seventeen. So it doesn't count. I, I, I'm <laughs> we just get to Chris from now on. <laughs> um, okay. game. But it's really good. I played them both this year. They're both really good games. I don't know. I don't know when they came out, but they were really good. And um, that frame, the concept of it, like a comic book and going through a mystery thriller, was really, really intriguing. I really enjoyed it. it really nice. Okay. Game. And the, there's one more game uh, in this list. It was called. This did come out in 2017, but I'll mention it. It's called "Bury Me, My Love." I don't know if anyone's heard of it. I've heard about, of it. In, yeah, it's about a Syrian I've refugee. Thought, I've thought about, about it. Adventure. I've thought about really, getting it several times. It's quite deep. Really um, emotional game. I was really mm-hmm. good as well. I think it came out towards the end of last year. I think. Yeah, I it, it came out in 2017. Yeah. But no, that's you know, I would rather I like. To I, habib. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> um, but I would I would much rather just spotlight stuff and think it's cool than worry about release dates. And somewhere in this somewhere in this time frame, Fran came out in 2018, so it counts. <laughs> Chris, you're number two. You change if you want. No problem. Nope. We're moving on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number two. You know, it's so weird that every month, once every month, all, uh, one time, someone calls me from Netherlands, and it's always the same number. They call for like... It's like, Jurgen. It's 10 seconds, then they just close. Every right. month, only once. <clears throat> yeah. Jurgen, he's weird. gaslighting you. No, he doesn't even have my number. You don't know that. Anyways, number two. (laughs) Number two is... You're throwing upside down metal symbols. (laughs) Come on. Rock Band didn't come out this year, Chris. (laughs) Rock Band. (laughs) Spider Man is fucking good, isn't it? It's so good. It's so good. I shed I shed two tears at the end. Really? Like I I I I played through like I when that game was leading up, like I was like, man, I'm not sure I want to do this. I know it's Insomniac. They do Ratchet and Clank. I love Ratchet and Clank. I like Insomniac. They're really good at what they do. Do I want to fucking play a Spider-Man game? Really? And then I play it and I'm like, yep, I want to live here for a while. Yeah. It's like, it's like actually, it's uh, I love that they picked um, an older and more experienced Peter Parker. So we don't have to go okay. the whole Well, yeah, they didn't do a bullshit origin story, which is tired and about as yeah, bad yeah. as like my uncle died. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, you know. I like how they referenced that in the game. Like, you could go to yeah. Ben's grave. Like, yeah, I know. It's... That's cool. So it's not tied into the all, film. Because we all know the story. Anyone who's going to buy Spider-Man knows <laughs> the original story. Come on. No one's going to buy Spider-Man it's like, it's like, because of because because they don't know Spider-Man. Well, anyone I, who's going to buy well, I think, it, I think in, in this day and age, people have seen, like, the Spider-Man movies that came out last decade, like the, the Tobey Maguire ones. So they know, like, yeah, what some 
some form of his origin story. Like before those, I really didn't. I knew Spider-Man was bitten by a radioactive spider. That was it because I tried to read comic books, but it's just too overwhelming. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm I'm with you. Like we did not need another origin story. Origin story, yeah. So I, I really like his more experience. He knows his way around. He knows how to like uh, be more responsible to his powers. And he's motherfucker and he's, just trying to live his life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like it's like you're playing his slice of life. So he's already settled down. He knows what he he got his shit down. It's not like struggling uh, to eat food from the floor or whatever. But uh, <laughs> well, he, but I feel like he's he's ha his struggles are like adult struggles. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly, exactly. So he's struggling for rent. He's struggling with MJ because they're broken up in the game. Spoilers and Ron, sorry. Um, <laughs> But, but you can but these are stuff you can relate with Peter Parker, you know. You can like okay, this stuff happened to me when uh, you know this stuff is the same. We all had the we all went through rent problems, we all went through you know yeah. relationship problems. So you can relate to Peter Parker Peter Parker, and he's such a good Peter Parker, and he's okay. such a good Spider-Man. It's like I can honestly say uh he's one of my favorite Spider-Man uh yeah, I, I, to be honest. It, it, like I think Waypoint had a had an article titled that uh, Spider Man isn't just a good game, but it's a game about trying to be good. Okay. Yeah. And like I feel I feel like that encapsulates the entire game because it's just it's it's just Peter Parker trying to be a good dude. Okay. And exactly. Not, <clears throat> there's there wasn't any real pretension in it. It wasn't just like, hey, I'm Spider Man. I will save him. He's like, no, nah, I'm trying to do right yeah, yeah. all these people. And then even the very end, the most tear jerking fucking thing. It and and I don't want to say it because Imran hasn't played it. <laughs> yeah, I do apologize. But Chris knows the scene, and it's where. And and it's the scene where Peter Parker goes, I don't know what to do. And the person exactly. he's and the person he's talking to tells him, No, you fucking know what to do. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I'm, like, and, and I'm like, Yes, someone did this well. It's well. so good because it doesn't make him the pinnacle of of Superman or superhero that he knows what to do. He is a human being in the end. He just he knows. He knows he knows that if somebody's getting beat up, he's gonna save him. But when it comes to very complicated choice, mm -hmm. he doesn't know what to do because he's just another regular person. Yeah. He doesn't have the uh, uh, the uh, fifty years or forty years experience of other of other you know veterans or whatever. They, he doesn't know the answer. That's why I like him. They made him so human. Uh, but they are, they have some gripes with the games, like yeah, the Web Blossom is OP as fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so it sounds like they nailed the story there. I've yeah, been deliberately yeah. avoiding a lot about this game, so I'm going to ask you some questions now, which I was obviously looking for. Are you okay with spoilers? I don't want. I mean, like, person, me, me as I'm a person, cool. I'm okay with spoilers because it's all about the yeah. journey, not the information. Yeah, there. so I'm pretty, I'm pretty similar, but I do want to know some things about the game because I've seen obviously trailers. It looks really fluid and stuff. How are the game mechanics? Are they really? Do they hold oh, up to how it looks? Because it sounds like the story is nailed down, and that's the bit I want. I want yeah, to the, the, the story is unlocked. You don't have yeah. a problem. There. But also I, the mechanics of it. It looks really good. Looks really fluid and really like smooth. But how is it? Because I mean, said Red Dead looks really good to me. But when you say well, he's a uh, let me ask you this, Imran: Are you a person who really likes to get through things quickly and fast travel? Um. But it depends on the game, really. Sometimes I okay. Can. Well, this game there's a fast travel system. You will not <laughs> want to cool. use it. You will not okay. want it because swinging around the city is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Is it like? Is, is it open world? It's not a very. Oh yeah. Game. Oh yeah. New York. New York I know nothing about it. <laughs> like, you you drop into the game. You go wherever you want. It's the type of like, game that I knew I was gonna play regardless of whether it's bad or good or like, anything because I like Spider-Man. Think like you know how yeah. Ubisoft is known for their open world like map yes. vomit. Yeah, well, yeah. there's that here, but everything serves a purpose. Okay. And I mean, and I know that in like Far Cry games and Assassin's Creed games, the open world shit serves a purpose there. But I feel like I feel like this game and Horizon Zero Dawn from last yeah. year okay. got that balance. Yeah. Exactly. Where, where like, you know, the, the first thing uh Watan is it Watanabe, the police chief? 
I think whatever her yeah, name yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. first yeah. name. But the police chief gives you like, hey, there are these towers that are messing with our crime network and they're down, so we need you to be detective, detective uh, Spider Man. Okay. And obviously, I remember obviously Sunset Overdrive. How similar is the mechanics to that? Because obviously, you're um, around okay. Something. So the, the the cool thing about Traversal is yes, this is a Spider-Man game, but also yeah. this is kind of a Tony Hawk game. Okay. In a weird way, like honestly, like I I saw someone post that on Twitter, and I was like, you know what? That's fucking right because you can really just scale buildings like a half pipe skate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're gonna have to get used to the mechanics at first, cause yeah, yeah. Uh, but, 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 but it makes sense in the end. Like, yeah. okay, it's I a, understand. It's, it's an appropriate curve. It's an appropriate yeah. learning curve. It's it's so good. Okay. Um, and as you do stuff, you unlock suits, and the suits are amazing. Oh, oh nice. best part about this: there, each suit has its own power, but you can change. Like, if you want to wear a certain suit but you don't like its power, you can add whatever power you want that you've already unlocked. Yes, wow. that is the best that thing. Awesome. That is That's really cool. That's really good. Because some, suits, uh, because some suits has uh, dumb powers, but you actually like how the suits looks like, but I don't, mm -hmm. I, you're not forced <laughs> to use the stupid power of it. Yeah, yeah it's quite cool. I think this one's for Chris. How are there a lot of references to like the Marvel Universe and stuff in there? Have they thought yeah, about there that? Yeah, there is. Yeah, okay, they mentioned right. like uh, the... Like Daredevil, they mention uh, uh, Iron uh, Man. Yeah, there's the Avengers, the Avengers Tower. Is in yeah, it. Avengers yeah. Tower. Because I just hate games like this where they just ignore every other like comic book. I'm like, why? They're in the part of the same world. Like, why have you ignored it? No, there's I'm a lot of Yeah, and, and, the, and the way... <laughs> That's cool. And the way Peter Parker and the way Peter Parker mentions them... Yeah. It's like he, he already met them. He already um, that's, that's uh, really good. with them, you know? So I'm really hoping in the future they might maybe <laughs> other heroes. Team, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe like, like, yeah. Maybe cool. Iron Man, have a mission with Iron Man. It would be really cool. I mean, I kind of, what I, what I what, and, and I, like dovetailing on what Chris says, because Chris, had, you, that's a point I never fucking thought of. So thank you for bringing that. Um, there could be an MCU of games if they got enough quality developers doing their thing. Yeah, if they get it right. I, just yeah. don't, I don't, I don't want Insomniac to be bogged down by doing a Spider Man game, then a Batman game, then an Avengers game. I know Batman's not in Why Marvel. Batman? <laughs> exactly. exactly. I'm, I've had two I know what you, I know what you mean. But like, you know, I don't want them to be bogged down by doing a bunch of different right. superheroes and tying everything together. I yeah, feel true. like that's inappropriate. It's, a, it's an inappropriate use of a great developer's time. Yeah, you want Marvel to treat the games like how they treat the movies. They've got the best directors for the right films and stuff like that. That's all you need. Exactly. Yes, so, don't DC it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, don't DC it. And, and, and you, you know, and we lost Stan Lee earlier this year. Yeah. And I think the, ga the, cameo, the cameo he makes in this game, I think it might be his final cameo in anything. Wow. Yeah. And now I played the game twice because the, uh, they brought out New Game Plus Trophy. So I'm like, I'm just going to blitz that since I have a <laughs> so, Sunday night to myself. Um, and I realized I think, something. Huh? No, no, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Well, and I realized, like in the in the game, like, and I'll just say what he says. Like, it's just it's a cameo. He's like, a, a, he's like a a manager at a restaurant, or he works at a restaurant that they frequent that Peter Parker and MJ frequented, and he just looks at them and goes, "You know, you two were always my favorite." <laughs> and I never realized how fucking poignant that was yeah. until yeah. like after he was gone. I'm like, that was he he created yeah. this. Like this is this is the That's one that right, sort yeah. of like brought comic books forward. Yeah. Ah, oh. and I feel like it was it was a it was a it was it was the right thing, and it's a good scene. It's a really good scene. Yeah. But that's all I'm going to tell you. Call, call wait, I'm call wait. Call wait. I mean, you you know, you should come back. We should talk about it. Yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to say about Spider Man, Chris? Nope. Did I step on you too much? Nope. Spider -Man. Promise? What? You promise? Promise what? That I didn't step on you too much? 
you step on me, you cannot. I got, I got drunk me. and ex I'm drunk and I got excited. I Chris has calmed out a lot, right? You yeah. can't stamp on me, and Ant cannot stamp on okay, me. Okay, good, good. As long as, as, as long as we're aware, cool. Imran, your number two game, sir. I feel like Chris has matured loads, you know. Dude, it's weird. I'm not used to this. <laughs> I, I, really I've expected him. To, I've expected him to yell at me like 17 times this show, and he hasn't. I. I kind of want to hug him now because he's. Not um, I'm, I'm, I'm too tired. I'm too tired. <laughs> Lies. Uh, uh, I, to be honest, I'm, I'm tired every single day, so I just don't care anymore. Don't care about petty stuff. Don't care oh, about good. you know. Yeah. Glad I'm just petty stuff, to you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> God, I missed you guys. Um. <laughs> Imran, your number two games. It's, a, it's an absolutely ridiculous choice, but I had so much fun with it. I had fun with the first one as well. It was Overcooked 2. They played Overcooked. Okay. Yeah, it's. I want to play Overcooked, but I don't hilarious. want my fiance to hate me. You can play the fiance, and it is hilarious. It's such a funny game, and Overcooked 2 just more than the same. It's okay. so good. I play with my missus. I uh, just love it. I'll see. I love shouting. You can just shout at each other and say, cut these onions and put them in the right. <laughs> <laughs> And you can see why, because you're as a team, and it's really, really good. So if anyone doesn't know the game, uh, it's kind of like you're you're in a yeah. chef, you're in a kitchen, and you just cut loads of uh, ingredients and stuff, and you got to put them together and serve them, and you're trying to save the world at the same time. It's really, really yeah. weird. Yeah, no um, woman would ever want to play that game with me. Right? <laughs> so, cut those so, onions. Be a woman. Do your job. Wait, was he crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you're you doing your part. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So just be like, I'm Chris. I don't cook. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, Hands so you, not on the controller. You're dying. <laughs> why aren't you doing everything? Why? Why isn't your womanly instinct working right now? You should be cooking really good steak right now. <laughs> There's the Chris. Harvey you start. You start the game. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you start the game thinking this is ridiculous, and then as time goes on, you realize how tactical you got to be about things. Like you realize how much you got to assess the situation, where the ingredients are, where the plates are, where the, how do you serve things, and then you got to do like your teamwork. And it's up to four players as well, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. to get four people in a room trying to cut onions and bump into each other. You can hit each other as well, which is cool. So awesome. Uh, and well, I like can overcook too. You can throw. Yeah, you can throw. Yeah, it's really cool. But there's bits where you can like throw it's a loaf of bread to the other team. Game changer for that. And also, it's like one of those where you're trying to do it in a certain time frame and stuff. It was, it was really fun. I quite imagine it like. Just for the amount of fun I had to put on my list, no other reason. Um, okay. It's more of the same as Overcooked 1, it's pretty similar to be honest. Uh, if, you but put, it, if you put 10 games you didn't have fun with on your list, I might <laughs> yeah, have some questions wrong. for you. But yeah, it, it was <laughs> absolutely hilarious the game. So so funny and so much fun playing with Mariam as well. Because we didn't get much time to play with the baby and stuff and he gets to sleep about 7, 8. So we get a quick game of that about an hour or so and it's, uh, yeah, it's hilarious. And you're just like, man, I'm tired. we got to do something <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That is what happens, but yeah. So we're getting back into routine. I've got a lot of games. Thank you, Matt, for the list you've given me. So we're gonna. Oh, we'll don't worry, you'll get more. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Chris, your number one game. I assume we're both the same with game number one. I assume we're both the same with game. I mean, I I kind of feel like there's. Yeah. I I kind of feel like I know what Chris's game is. Yeah, I think so. so. Uh, if it's not, I I'll don't be up. think it's Tetris <laughs> Effect. <laughs> I'll be shocked if it's not this game, like honestly. So yeah. Are you playing? Uh, is that the Wizard of Oz? I don't know what's happening. What? <laughs> Come on. My game of the year or something. I don't know what that is. Seriously? <laughs> it's Disney? Is that what you said? Kingdom Hearts comes out next year. You can't have that as game of the year. <laughs> Come on! He's emotional. Yeah. I mean, did you not play this game this year? I, I didn't know that <laughs> Hello Kitty's like... Island Adventure had, you know. Dude, uh, this, dude, this dude, game dude, dude, okay, my game of the year is Boy. 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 <laughs> Get over here, boy. Boy's Get over here, boy. Music. It's the soundtrack for the God of War, dude. Just fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your game of the year too, Imran? Oh, yeah, game on. of the year. The hands yeah. down. Yeah. Amazing hands game. Down, one of the best games I've like, it's like it's <laughs> like uh, it's it's like it's been so long where there's a game I'm 
I, I'm so excited to play. When I'm at work, I'm thinking of going back to, to your home and play God of War. It's yes. been so long that I never got excited for yeah. play. I just fell. I, I remember why I fell in love playing video games. I remember. Yeah, it was because it's balance with everything. Graphics, amazing. Gameplay, amazing. <laughs> Story, amazing. Voice acting, amazing. Everything about that game is annoying so sidekick. Amazing. <laughs> what do you mean the head? I love his stories. No, no, and like Atreus. Like honestly, like as an annoying sidekick, he's amazing. And I'm not being like derisory. I'm not trying to throw shade. Because like there's that there's that section one third to, to about two thirds in where Atreus Dude, is kid. fucking he's, terrible. He's <laughs> more annoying. Come he's on. Super annoying. He just got super annoying. I mean, he, he's a kid in the end. Kids are annoying. Don't forget that. He, he's generally quite annoying, though, I think. During the game. Yeah. <laughs> but I think about it. He's a bit annoying. No, but, but yeah. No, I'm, you, I'm, boy. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Like, well, and see, and, and see God of War, uh, just from my standpoint, had a long way to go to be yeah. even serviceable. Because I fuck, I only played, like, the, I played the first one. And then I played yeah. a little bit of two, and I fucking hated them. Mm. Like, yes, there was over the top action. The the hack and slash was fun, and it was just a button mashing good time. But Kratos fucking sucks. It's he sucks. Yeah, he, he, does, he, he sucks. was awful. He was really mean, right? <laughs> but here, yeah. all of a sudden, he's got hot. Like, well, like honestly, like I was, I was leading up to it. I was calling him alcoholic dad Kratos, <laughs> and and I didn't. That wasn't a, that wasn't a Matthew Keel original. That was from Jeff Gersman from Giant Bomb. I I, I co-opted that one <laughs> or okay. stole it, whichever way you want to go. But like, that's what it was. And then even through for like the first third of the game, he's he's just like. He's just Kratos, but not, but not so much because he's trying to like not be Kratos in front of a kid. It's a bit like Chris. He matured, right? But but then like when Atreus decides he's gonna be a shit bag, that's when Kratos <laughs> basically says, "No, dude, you don't." Do yourself that. Up. And and then all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm all right, Kratos. You are a character now. Mm -hmm. You have dimension. Yeah. And then, you know, it doesn't hurt that Mimir's fucking awesome. The dwarves are awesome. <coughs> yeah. uh, Baldur is a fucking great boss and antagonist. Freya is great. Yeah. I mean, fuck, the one you want to be great is Odin. You see him for 10 seconds and you don't give a shit because everything <laughs> else in the game is amazing. Yeah, and it's really cool the Greek mythology. So, because we're kind of generally people are used to like sort of Norse mythology and Greek mythology and stuff like that. So, seeing a lot of those um, characters and stuff brought to life in God I feel like War. people are more used to Greek mythology than Norse. Yeah, they're used to. No, so what happened with Greek mythology? Everyone was kind of like on top of that. With yeah. Norse, people kind of knew about it, and then they've seen Thor and Odin and Loki mm -hmm. from the Marvel films, and they had like an idea of what it is. And I felt doing it like Marvel doing a dis. Uh, it's sort of injustice to Norse mythology with Thor and Loki and sort of, sort of yeah. things like that. But with God of War, they brought it back and said, this is what Norse mythology is meant to be like a little bit. Uh, and that was really interesting how they took that exactly. on board. I like that because yeah. Marvel were making Thor like, oh yeah, this is what this is what Norse mythology yeah, he's, is. He's, he's, a, he's a nice guy, he's whatever. Yeah. But the way they portray He just has that hammer and that cape and the real long blonde yeah. hair. Yeah, yeah so... The story Everyone, you hear from the what's the hell called had the head whatever called Mimir. Mimir. Mimir the yeah. stories you hear from th about Thor or Loki is like oh man this is a fucked up family, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to hear. You don't want to hear the yeah. sort of Ramsey Disney version. You want to see this like. And well, really and and then, like speaking of speaking of Mimir, like I feel like Mimir is like the jewel mm. in that game because the stories he tells, it's not like he's reading from a page he he's reading at like he like he saw it and was able to sort of like grasp yeah. nuance from the point of view mm, so definitely. Like, and 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 he was able to colorize it in a way that's like like a like a friend you haven't seen from a for a long time 
telling you an anecdote, but giving you a really clear picture of it. Yeah. And, and yeah, I think Mimir is like, is like the unspoken, like priceless gem of that game. I mean that so, and, that and the dwarves yelling at each other because yeah, like, <laughs> yeah exactly. the dwarves yeah. are great. Yeah, the dwarves are awesome. The the run up to this game, I hadn't played God of War three, so I thought, let me play that first. I know it's going to come out. Let me play it. And I played God of War three, and I just realized how much I hated Kratos. And I was like, I don't even. I'm not even excited about the next God of War now. So it was God of mm-hmm. War three the one before, right? Um, well, I was, it was so, Ascension. Yeah, but, Ascension. But nobody yeah. gave a shit. Yeah, so exactly. exactly. I didn't even finish it. <laughs> yeah, so that's the one of the multiplayer, isn't it? Essentially, yeah, so I think, yeah. So I think God it was of War went far of a God of War. It was also <laughs> that that scene with Aphrodite, where you had this sort of sex game, the weird sex game, and then there was that bit. There's one bit which defined Kratos for me. It was when he, I think, there was that dude chained up in God of War three, and then he helps him do something, and then he just kills him for no reason whatsoever. Like, <laughs> There's some bit where there's a huge guy chained up, <laughs> just kills him for no reason, and I was like, do I really want to play God of the next God of War? And then I didn't even buy it based on that. And then it was Father's Day, and Marion bought me the game. Um, and obviously, it's about God of uh, Kratos and his son. And it was like the perfect. And you're, si- you're sitting here thinking, man, he's gonna kill this kid. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna that, fucking kill this I, kid, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I was a bit worried about what he's gonna do with this child. But then when I played the game, it was completely different. And I really like the character. He's probably one of my favorite characters now. Because before I used to hate him. I like I love mm-hmm. that I hated him because it made him. I love when there's characters that you hate, i.e., like. Um, Joffrey from Game of Thrones, you hate him so much, and that's what makes him a good character. Kratos was similar like that. I hated him so much because I didn't like the way he treated people and how he was. But in the neck, in this one, he was uh, the. But you grew to like, love sorry. him. So I, now, now Kratos is, I find him like probably one of the best characters. Like, really, really well, to, to to contrast with Joffrey from Game of Thrones, I feel like yeah, they're nothing not, not similar in that way. I mean, no, like, no, no, no. Was, it, yeah, because like, Joffrey showed like a. A, a different side of him was Sansa, but then like he wanted to be the, the big man on campus when yeah, he yeah. was king. Um, <clears throat> so he was just, he was just a shit bag. So if he had lived longer, like no, I'd hate him more. I think Jamie Lannister is more. He's more like Jamie Lannister. Like everybody like, hated Jamie Lannister, but when he, he, yeah, yeah, that's right. But, but after he, he respect, he, son, respect. Yeah, <laughs> but after he, his hand got cut off and he got more humane, he got. Like he was, or he he got faced with his own mortality. And yeah, like, exactly. That, exactly. I, I mean, less, less about what happens here, more about the performance of the character. That's mm-hmm. so, with Joffrey's performance, he's so good at being annoying and bad that you hate him. So I think yeah. was a bit like that. He was so good at being his role of being like this crazy, crazy god and going around killing everyone. And I understood that and what he was about. And I thought it's not a game that really like I can really relate to. Although it's a good game, I enjoyed God of War three. I thought it was. Good game. I like the big scenes, the big gaming scenes. Um, but once God of War four happened, uh, it was yeah. God of War four just changed the game for me, and it really made me like. Uh, really made me like Kratos. I really, I think he's a great character. And I think they did an amazing job. The mechanics, the graphics, everything in that game was just beautiful. Yeah. And I'm happy to. Have, I had to choose one game that I actually finished. I was really happy. Is God of War. I'm so excited to play the next God of War on PS5. Yeah, like I, I, <laughs> I, I hope it's not something they sequelize too rapidly. Have they? They haven't talked. Have they said there's just going to be no DLC for this game? I don't. No know. DLC, one hundred percent. They've DLC. said no. Okay, good. Mm. That's pr- that's probably for the best, and I'm okay yeah. with that. I think it ended perfectly, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I agree completely. Yeah, like that, that did not. They did not need to go any further with that. I feel like. Um, the secret scene they have at the end of the credits where there's like a oh cliffhanger. A cliffhanger. Like, oh, I just wanted I, I to see like, his fucking face. Just show yeah, me like, his face. Like, <laughs> I, won't, I won't spoil that, but motherfucker, I want to figure out what that is. <laughs> that is cool. um, but yeah, like this... For, now, the story is, is, is a fucking class of storytelling. Um, mm. From the additional from the additional lore you get from Mir, from the interplay of dialogue you get from all from the entire ensemble, and the the way I mean, did you, did either of you guys do the Valkyrie fights? Yes, yes. I platinumed yeah. it. Like 
such a good game. The Valkyrie fights, like if we've added for our award show this year, we've added best boss battle, and I feel like I have to have, you know, fifteen boss battles because each of those Valkyrie fights is fucking good. Yeah, but the queen was a bitch. She had every power. <laughs> Yeah, that was really difficult. Yeah. Just, it's everything you've learned to that point. There's a reason she's the queen. But the queen yeah, like he was like, I think it was the best optional boss I've done in my whole life. Like, oh yeah, oh definitely, like ever, definitely. Like, I, I mean, mean, I, I mean, is it is it is it really the best? Is it as good as the uh, Dark Souls three? Was it called the 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 king? The whatever the with the king? dragon one. Nameless King? Is it as good as the Nameless King? I've not played Dark Souls 3. Well, yeah, Imran hasn't played that. I actually think the Valkyrie Queen is the is a better fight than the Nameless King in Dark Souls 3. I personally think that. I feel like it took way more of me to beat her than the Nameless King did. Because when I went to the Valkyrie Queen the first time, I knew it was. I know that that first time is a reconnaissance mission. I just let her beat the hell out of me, and then I'm I'm just like, all right. So I took the first wave, and I went back. I got beat again because I tried to work around that first wave, and she changed. And for the it took me it took me like nine tries to beat her, <coughs> where it took me only four to beat the nameless king. Hmm. And well, you're you're the you're a donut. Uh, um, those Dark Souls blood. I'm not the best. I'm not. I'm not. You're the best. Go I on know. Twitch I mean, and find people that are way better than anybody that I've ever heard of. I mean, there, there are people who finish the game with the guitar. Uh, guitar. Yeah, and, people, and, and, and they don't. Like, and they don't fucking get hit. It's crazy. Yeah. And then there were some oh, people who finished the game with the banana. With a fucking <laughs> banana. I mean, it depends on the banana. Um, but the 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 Valkyrie Queen is is a boss fight that will that seem to change and adapt in a way that I've only seen boss fights in roguelikes work. Mm -hmm. A God of War is not a roguelike. There was a, there was a, there was another level of intelligence to that boss fight that it was it was weird going up against every time and now i don't know if there's like if there's a way to program it to where all of a sudden there it repeats but i remember the time that i that i beat her I did. The, I purposefully did the same thing I had done a couple of times before, and led her into one set of attacks, and then changed. And I I took out like three quarters of her health in that change. You know, granted the fight lasted a few minutes. Uh, I probably lasted total five minutes, but it seemed like it seemed like a lot longer in the moment. She changed to adapt to what I had done initially. So I changed around her. And then right as, she, right as she started to change again, I was able to have enough momentum on her and put her away. Because of that, like it, it shows an amount of care that was taken into these Valkyrie fights. And while I love Dark Souls, Dark Souls is one of my favorite franchises of all time. Mm -hmm. Those bosses are nowhere near as sophisticated as the Valkyrie Queens. Like, I feel like even Smog and Ornstein don't get close. Because at their core, they are just two patterns where she is like, she can be up to nothing. <laughs> we, we I just got like a weird set of chills up my head, up, up, up my neck, thinking about it because that boss fight's really goddamn good. 
Also, I thought you guys were frozen, so I'm glad you guys made a noise. No, no, we're not frozen. Um, we were listening intently. But yeah, but yeah, no, the Valkyrie Queen is 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 a. It was like a, I was listening to Miami's head tell a story. <laughs> Thanks, Imran. That is a that is a pretty good compliment. But yeah, no, God of War is a fucking special game. It is a good um, game. That said, <clears throat> uh, it is still number two on my game. Really? Yeah. Wow. Have you revealed your list? No, not yet. I have not. We we reveal. I'm. We're actually recording the game of the year list tomorrow. This will okay. be. This episode will actually go out uh, before that does. So I'm not. Okay, I'm interested to see what your number one is. Now you left it on a cliffhanger. I mean, I feel like I feel like if I were to tell you what my number one is, Chris would be like, "Oh, of course, Matt picks that as number one." <laughs> <laughs> it's and like then, an obscure indie game that nobody heard of. No, uh, it's fire. okay. No, I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> but that is a good game. If you like, if you. <laughs> As, as someone who does not like wrestling, I fucking yep. love Fire Pro Wrestling World. It's so much fun. That was a funny game. Oh, oh my god, that game's so good. Um, so, so both of you are are are, are God of War. Yeah, God of War is number you one. You know what? I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. For some reason, I I had this weird feeling that the end of the year was going to be just fucking Red Dead Redemption, and, <laughs> and now I, I'm not like super political on on Nerds Gone Road, but yeah. I have thoughts about their labor practices. Okay. And I, and I say that as as someone who has been outsourced. Yeah. Someone who's been laid off from a job because they decided people yeah. uh, uh, across the world making less than one third of your yeah, yeah. Pay were 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 better than you. Mm. Um, I'm I don't hold any animosity towards those individuals because hey, we're all trying to make it in this world. But the company, the yeah, the ones who made the decision, shit piss me off. No, I completely agree. So we have a similar thing on my workplace. It's not good at all. No. Like, and what did they do? With the outsource, the, right? the rockstar labor practices where they were talking about hundred hour weeks and mm. they had to come redact their statement and be like, Oh no, that's just, that's just us in the writing staff. That's just us housers and everybody that's making, you know, shit tons of money. Uh, not the people that are making nothing because we want them to be, you know, happy. And it, it, the, the labor practices in rockstar, I, I, this is not new. This didn't just happen this year. It's happened several times in the past. Yeah, people, it's been documented well. I am a I am a big proponent of fair pay for work, mm -hmm. and and I feel and you know and uh, Nerds Gone Platinum uh, did a, a, a segment on like is crunch a thing, and all of them sort of said, well, there's crunch in every industry, and I don't think the crunch in you know, industry is the same as crunch in the video game industry, and I feel like the video game industry needs to unionize very much like Hollywood did, very much like you know any creative industry has. And I, I'm and I know unions come with their good and their bad. As someone who's been part of the union, a part of a union, I've seen good and bad come from unions, but. Some of some of the labor practices in the video game industry border on slavery. Look, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. What I learned is um, every single company, it doesn't matter where you live or where you work, is shit. They're gonna, they're gonna, there's gonna come to a point where you're gonna, you're, they're gonna overwork you. Yep. They're gonna, they're gonna abuse you. They're yep. gonna keep adding more responsibilities, and the pay will stay the same. Yep. So the only way is for you to have information you don't share, and they need. So you can have some sort of advantage. Okay. That's how you have to do it. That's good. You don't. You, it's like it's like okay, I have a problem with this comp with this client. 
if I'm not available, they're fucked. And this client brings them a lot of money. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You have to you have to play you have to play it dirty, you have to play it smart. That's how it is. You, you have to make something dispensable. Yeah. You 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 do you do, you cannot be you cannot be you have to have something that they want to keep you and you can use that to like I don't want to work overtime. Well, and, just and, get and, just yes. get some intern. Just just get some intern, which I did, which I did. Why why I have to do this fucking crunch work, which I don't need to, you know. But I I, mean, I I feel like that's easy to say, but also that's unfair to the intern. It, it's 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 how it is. It's how it's, it's I mean, like how it is. We can yes, we can we can. It's unfair to the intern. Then what? I have I'm gonna get fucked and and not no, sleep no, 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 the no, no, whole no. time. It's like I'm not trying. I'm not. Tr I'm, I'm not trying to make it so you get fucked, Chris. But <laughs> I, I I also I mean I mean if if you can stay calm, I would love you to get fucked. But you know, in a different way, not not occupationally, um, unless that's your occupation. I don't know. Uh, but I w I will say, like you know, fair pay for fair pay for for work is a is a is a big deal, and yeah, especially and, and especially I mean, I'm not going to speak to either of your experiences because you guys know your landscapes better than I ever will. <laughs> but I know, I know, in, for in my experience here and what I've seen, it's yeah. very easy to get taken advantage of. Now, I've also been part of the part of the, you know, well, you just got to keep going because that's that's the gig. I mean, I graduated X ray. No, it's not you have to keep going, you have to take control and play the right, game. But, by but your here's Chris, here's the thing. My profession, I'm an x-ray tech. I graduated x-ray school in 2013. I can't say much about your job. No, but, 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 here, but here's my point. <clears throat> I can, as, as as someone who comes out of x-ray school, you don't you don't get the option for a full-time gig with benefits right out the gate. Now, some techs, some of my classmates did. And, and you know, good on them for taking those jobs and just sticking it out. But myself, I did not have those opportunities. And now, granted, I saw them, I applied for them, and I was and I was passed over for a, one reason or another. That's you know, didn't have the experience, whatever, or they put those jobs out online as a formality because they knew who they were going to hire. Exactly, they do that shit all the time. It right. Me yeah. up. And but, you know how, and you know how we know that because I have seven seven years experience in my field, uh -huh. and I went. It was like a month ago, and I went to do an interview, and the job description was network monitoring, which is what I do. You. Exactly, way below you, and it's peanuts for me. Mm -hmm. And I went there, and he was asking me question that had nothing to do with the job description. Mm -hmm. He was asking me questions that I took like seven years ago in university in one very obscure class. It's like yeah, they're basically asking you test questions just to get you uh, out the door. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, why are you asking me questions that that first of all has nothing to do with the job description, job job description, and second of all, these are very easily Googleable. Like Google, mm -hmm. like you can, I can Google it, so I can remember it. So I have the fundamental idea how it how it works. But you're asking me questions about like uh, units or whatever. It's like it's so. It's like uh, why are you wasting my time? It's right. obvious. It's obvious. You do your your. You only know who who you want to hire. I told him that. So why are you wasting my time? And you're wasting your time. You know, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna leave. He was like, "No, we are serious. Whatever. How are you serious? You're not asking me any question. Not asking serious questions. Any fucking question about the job? Nothing. He asked nothing. It's like I'm a doctor, and he was asking me plumber questions. What? Okay. I'm, uh, you know. See, now, that, 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 see, there's a similar thing because when you go out, when you come out of extra school, that the traditional route, which I feel like is the route that I took. You get a PRN job per diem, 
which is mean you're there when they need you, not as like a full time schedule. You don't have access to benefits. You don't have guaranteed hours. So I had to work three jobs to make sure I had full time hours to have enough money to pay my bills. Now, how does that look to someone who doesn't understand what it is? Because it could mean, oh, I just work one eight hour shift here and then the next day I work another eight hour shift. No, that's not how it worked. I would work 7.30 to like four at one job and then be at another job by five and work till 12.30 at night. Wow. Like that, that was the, that was the balance that I had to make and like trying to do that and maintain a relationship with anyone. Yeah. I mean, this is, most of this was well before I met Reba and, yeah, you know, of course. and got happy. Um, now I had to still have three jobs when I started dating Reba, but like I was on my, I was on my way out of one of them because that job fucking sucked. Yeah. Um, but I ended up getting hired where I'm, where I work now. Uh, I worked PRN there for a long time. And then, you know, this third shift job opened, I got it. I have benefits, so I don't need the other two jobs and the benefits are fucking really good. So that's, wow. that's really nice. But like the video game industry should not be that. <laughs> Devel developers shouldn't, should still have, the work life balance, the work life balance that even I that that I have, and my work life balance ain't great because yeah. I work overnight. But like you know, time time like for instance, Imran, if you were a developer over here, you might never see your your son. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That's right? you can't. Fucking terrible. That is terrible. Yeah. I mean that's bad. That's bad between you and the missus. It's bad between you. Yeah, and it's son. gonna affect the your family life. dynamic. It's fucked up. It's it's yeah. weird. And I don't want anybody to suffer that, um, yeah. because I because I it's, it's not gonna change. It's just, oh, it will if they no, unionize. There are other there are other companies which do do it right, so it can change. Right? Yeah, there are companies like, that like I feel you. like Valve and Bethesda do it right. Yeah, uh, you don't. now, huh? You don't know what what's going on in their companies. You don't know anything. You don't yeah, know you, you what think, Matthew you Bethesda by this you time someone would have said something. But they've no one said anything really. Everyone just talks about how happy they are. I mean, Blizzard probably does it right too because they have the money to do it. Yeah. Valve has more money than anybody, except maybe ten cents. And then, and then Bethesda, they release a video on how they do it every yeah. E three now. So, and no one, no, and no, nobody, maybe just, has, maybe and just, nobody has come out and said, "Nah, this ain't how it works, dog." Maybe it's just a facade. You don't know. What? It's just a facade. It could be just a facade, but here's the thing. There have been enough leaks about bad labor practices in the video game industry that it would have come out right. Yes, my thoughts. I mean, Konami is one of what was one of the biggest video game makers in the world. And, they, <laughs> and you know, no... And then all that labor bullshit that came out of there. Yeah, it's ruined them. Because Konami didn't care about video games. They cared about their health clubs. They cared about everything else they did other than video games. That's why they the video games. But, <laughs> yeah, those machines, yeah. But here's the, here's the thing. If, if you're doing shitty things in the age we are in, it will come out. Yeah. And the fact that with Bethesda and Valve and Blizzard, it hasn't. Hashtag me too. It kind of says something. Chris. I don't do don't do that because no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you tread lightly, Chris. We, you, you, we can yell if you want. Um, but I would rather not because I love you guys. You guys, you, you guys are like, I I wish you guys were here so I could hug you. I missed you. Uh -huh. both. So I'm, much. I'm so glad you guys came here for uh, how tall are you, Matt? How tall am you're I? You're super I'm tall. I am six three. You're six tall. Three. So all your pictures, you're taller than everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I no, I, I don't like to get out somebody taller than me. I'm six two. So well, I, I, I will get on my knees and rest my head on your belly. <laughs> or, 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 I'm not going to your junk, don't even. No. 
<laughs> why did you why did you say that, man? Like he's why just did a, I say that? Because I knew <laughs> it would get a reaction out of him. <laughs> <laughs> he's just thinking Lalo he's, he's put his arms behind his head and everything. Yeah, he's okay. put his arm behind his head. He's like, oh please just go a little over, man. <laughs> nope, too tall. Can't. Um anyway. This has been another game of the year with friends starring my platinum achievement bro bros imran and chris or chris and imran whichever way you want to go uh thank you both. Hey, it's your beauty shall what? i shall i shall i do a trick oh, oh yes sure. imran you want to close with a trick yes Absolutely. close with a magic trick let's do this thank you he will log off now <laughs> all right cool. yeah, yeah, I, can get... I disappeared click <laughs> I've got so I had a couple in mind, but we'll do this one because it's more visual, I think. So I okay. To, can you so see for the audio listeners, sorry, you're just kind of out of luck. Let's have a look. So I have a box here. Uh huh. And in this it's box, it's rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> okay, this so I'm, I don't know if this will work like for court, right. for court right. thing, but I'm just going to highlight yours so all we see is. Your box. So can you see can you see the Rubik's cube? So you have a Rubik's cube. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Okay. The box of the Rubik's cube. Box over the Rubik's cube. And you turn them into M and M's. That's exactly what's happened. That's magic. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Holy this shit! That's cool, right? Thank you, sir. We'll see you more in time. It's pretty cool. I know yeah, the yeah, trick. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> well, the, it's gone. Wow. It's just the chocolates there. They're just there. The Rubik's Cube is gone. Can you eat it? You can yeah, eat it. Well, I want you to take a handful of those M&Ms and eat them. I want to know they're so, the, so these ones, I've kind of like used them multiple times. So I don't, I don't care. Oh, so your mouth. If you're not putting yeah, it in your mouth, I don't dirty. believe you. I can, okay. do a, I can do another one with some more... Put it in your mouth, Imran. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't want to put some nasty, uh, nasty old dirty chocolate. I keep, I keep, re I keep reading. Oh, but it's it, chocolate, right? right? It's Imran, chocolate. Imran, just yeah, eat an M and M. It's fine. <laughs> the day. So I do another. I do another version of the trick in a spectator's hand, okay. and I'll see those ones. I make sure they're clean, so the right. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. And if will come out. So, so I'll get new like Skittles, M and Ms, or whatever. whatever Imran, you thank you so much for that. That was awesome. <laughs> no um, problem. So, gentlemen, where can we find you guys? Chris, you first. Um, you can find me. Should I say Twitter? I don't even use that anymore. <laughs> Taporian Tapori on Twitter and on Instagram. T A P O R I A N. Mm -hmm. Same thing on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Facebook. I don't even use the page anymore. So Chris Har. <laughs> Chris Har. Yep. But you are in the Nerds Gone Rogue group, so we can find you there too. I mean, that's how it's came around, right? Through Facebook. Yep. That's how we got in touch. Mm -hmm. I put out an APB for people who wanted to talk about Game of the Year. You both responded. So That's how our soul connected. Yeah. <laughs> Imran. Yes. Um, so Xbox, PS4, everything else. Um, Imran, Imran 5X, 5X, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. And then it, my name on Facebook, Imran Haji. That's me. And then Lord Haji everywhere else. Yeah, Lord Haji is my, uh, what's it, my title. title. <laughs> so is, my debit card. It's my inherited title because yeah. I am awesome. I'll pass it on to my son one day. So Lord, cool. Lord Haji. Senior. Senior. Lord Haji Jr. <laughs> Lord Haji Jr. Senior Haji, Junior Haji. <laughs> and then I am Matthew Keel. You can find me at infinite underscore rewind on every social media platform in the known universe. Um, this uh, you could you could also interact with me pretty regularly in the Nerds Gone Rogue Facebook group. Um, that's kind of where all of this happens. And uh, and you know Imran, Chris, and I were also part of the Platinum Achievement Podcast with Antonio. Which is that? Antonio and Brian. With it, with Antonio Guillen and Brian Spagnoli. And uh, the 53 He's episodes, Antonio. The, the 53 episodes that happened of that show, uh, I still actually pick one out and listen to every so often with a weird regularity to the point where my partner goes, 
when was that recorded? And I'll be like, four years ago. <laughs> and she, how, how long was it? Was it? It was a long time ago now. I really don't remember. But and, and she's like, who are those other voices? That doesn't sound like NGR. I go, because it's not. It's the Platinum Machine Podcast. She's like, oh, it's, yeah, that one you did before. It's the better podcast. <laughs> you know, I like Especially where I'm at now, Chris. Uh, and I feel like Corey and Moose are... Corey Moose and I have a good thing going. And I also want y'all to come by anytime you want. Now, yeah. it's probably a little difficult for both of you because <laughs> we record Monday yes, nights. Slightly. But if for some reason you guys want to talk oh, about Oh, look at the shuffling skills. <laughs> oh, oh. No, you, if you guys want to talk about that. anything, right. and I don't care if it's video games or not. Hell, Imran, you can message me and be like, hey, Saturday, cut, let's do a show, and I'm going to do a magic trick. And I'll be like, you know what? Fuck you, right, idea. Imran. You're doing a magic trick. So I've video. been practicing it. I want to uh, try to like in, uh, incorporate with video games. So like maybe get video game cases and change them and things like that. So I'll be okay. I'll no, working on. Anytime. You know – you. You know, hit me up. Awesome. Um, yeah, but this has been a Nerds Gone Rogue B-side for a game of the year with friends with my two platinum achievement buddies <laughs> whom I've missed so much and I cannot wait to have you guys on again in 2019. Can Signing you do, off. Can you do a refill shuffle? shuffle? Can you can have a refill shuffle. I can do a refill. That's probably one of the easiest things to do, a refill yeah. shuffle. Come on, like I can do a Can you do a riffle? I don't know. I always try to do I, a riffle. I, 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 never I, I mean, I pull out cards from one of my board games, but they're holding up my laptop right now. So yeah. I can't. But okay. Can, can, you, can you do the ones where you throw the, the card and you catch it, uh, the deck, and you shuffle? That's what I'm practicing. I'm practicing. It, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll get there. Next time, we chat. Yes. Next time. Game of the year 2019. Banana and out.